in downtown Oklahoma City, Paycom Center, the site, as it's the Phoenix Suns and the Oklahoma City Thunder for the third and final time. Phoenix coming off a big road win against the Denver Nuggets, and it's the Thunder trying to get back into the win column after falling on Wednesday night to the Houston Rockets. As we welcome you inside Paycom Center for another Thunder Friday night across Oklahoma. We're glad you're with us here on Griffin Media Stations. KSBI Channel 52 and OKC, Channel 6.3 and CW19 in Tulsa, also Cox, and our partner stations in Lawton, Wichita, and Joplin. Hello, everybody. Alongside my broadcast partner, Michael Cage, I'm Chris Fisher. And Michael, the Thunder have taken down the Suns in the first two matchups, and there's a certain recipe to those games, efficient offense and forcing turnovers. Well, and that's been the mantra for the Thunder all season, being able to turn their opponents over. Well, 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 you know, a lot of slings and arrows come my way from Sundo about being late. It's always my fault, but wouldn't you notice that He's busy at church for Good Friday, and I'm able to start on time because he isn't here holding me back, slowing me down, and blaming it on me. What's going on, everybody? He's he's in, but he's muted right now. We'll, we'll give him his swole, though. There we go. Until he's ready to be with us but what's going on everybody how is your friday going i just got rid of a headache that i had for two days so i'm in a great mood uh no shay nurk is playing kind of scary kind of scary this is a this is the game you really gotta hope that these guys don't um our team sons don't take the Thunder too lightly like they did the wemby Spurs. This is a great prove-it game that you can lock in and take a team. Because, honest to God, this OKC team does not need Shea to beat us if we do that. They don't need Shea to beat us. They've got all kinds of other working parts that will make up the slack and make up the difference. Um, what do we got, a national anthem here? Is that what we're doing? Let us carry the spirit of transformation and hope into our lives. We ask for protection over the players, mm. gratitude for the workers who make this event possible, and joys for those who are watching. May the values of respect, teamwork, and community guide us today and inspire us in all that we do. In the spirit of unity and renewal, we share this time together. Amen. Amen. Sunda would have loved that prayer. He would have loved Oklahoma it. City Fire Department. <laughs> Thunder basketball is brought to you by away Mid from First the Bank, Bank, the official bank of the Oklahoma City That's Thunder. That's cold-blooded. They cut away. Runs deep. This is the only What's up, Mug? The Suns and the Thunder in Oklahoma City this season. Time now for tonight's Riverwind Casino wild card keys to the game. Michael. Well, it's That's be funny. About bench points. The Thunder had 50 disrespectful. Bench points a Sunday wouldn't have liked that. Building. Well, low turnovers. The Thunder have 125 consecutive games with less than 20 turnovers. That's a pretty solid number. The Suns average about 24 free throws a night, so you got to defend. Uh, what up? Derek, what so up, DC? What up, Ruben? Pretty much, Gary. It's a Thunder and the Suns. Line up some tip coming up next. Got Big Merc in the house. MJ, love yourself. What's going on? Baby boy Ruben sandwich is in the house. Uh, what else we got? Day one Roy, aka Sweet Baby Ray. Guard six three from Florida, number three. Brad Jonathan Rubio. Hale. And that guard six five from Kentucky, number Fresh one. Fresh Bull Brad from Bam. Oh, Karam Sons, aka and K Quick. It's Frank Vogel. Here's they're they're doing the okay. This is kind of cool. It's kind of cool. You guys are watching this. Like, why does every team keep doing this? Phil Collins BS. We get it. Copyright infringement. You know what I mean? One ninety nine. 
Dono from uh, Emperor Baby Sweet Baby Ray. So you're at the game. He says, I saw a book up close, man. That's crazy. I, like, I know that feeling is, is pretty intense, especially, like, if you're young and, like, you know, I think you get a little jaded as you get older. But I remember I, when I was at the Spurs game and I got to go on the court to do the Whataburger fry toss, I was like... 10 feet away from Goran Dragic and I was just like just didn't feel real I bet that was crazy Roy um, Mug says Nurk tonight yes definitely Nurk definitely gonna Nurk it up tonight um Diego Viacana says, got a plus 3,649 parlay on this, $1 to 37.50. Damn. So what do you need to have happen? East Metro, Sundo is at church right now. He gets done uh, at 8 o'clock Central. It's 7.08 right now, so... At some point, he'll unmute himself, and you can see he's technically he's in here, but he's muted. Doing something for Good Friday. Yeah, James, let me check on these VIPs for you. Wow, we got a lot of people in here with no VIPs. Let me get you guys taken care of here. So what do you guys think about this game? We win or nah? Roy, I take it you don't need a you don't need a VIP because you're at the game. For the first time tonight, let's send it over and say hello to Nick Gallo. Thanks, Chris. With no Shea Gildas Alexander in the lineup again tonight, don't expect any overcompensating from this Thunder team. All season long, this has been a group that has solved problems with all five guys out there, leaned in to that team first identity. And on Wednesday, that resulted in 58 bench points and eight guys with at least one assist, as you can see here. Now, this will be another good opportunity to lean into that style of play tonight against a very very hot Suns team. And guys, Chet Holmgren told me that the Thunder recognizes it's not just one person's job to do one particular thing on the floor. It is a collective effort from all, all five. Right, I think I got it. All right, James, all right, you, give me a Let's second here, James. Sonic key matchup. Well, how about first time playing against the Thunder this season? Devin Booker, 30 points in a, three of his last four games. Keep your eye on him. He's a scorer among scores. How about J Dub, man? He Sad KD fan. Forward. Give he me a second three. here. Send the game in overtime against the Rockets. 23 and 10 assists on that night. His third double double of the season. So Jalen Williams, he's ready to go. There is Kevin Durant. He's ready to I go. I haven't seen the Suns in their PHX jerseys in a while. Eight out of the final ten against teams. 500 or better, including this Phoenix Suns team that is coming here off. Here we go. A huge win hit that like button. We got 150 in here. We got to hit a hundo for Sundo or else he won't show up. First quarter 100. I'm giving out a membership. If we hit a hundo, center court. We are ready to go. They're ready to go. Thank you for being with us. What's up, Char the Pro? We're going to head on the road tomorrow, but business to be done first here. <laughs> Did he say bubble double? I didn't hear. All right, Grayson gets the re or gets the uh, tip, book into the paint, trapped, kicks it to KD for three, bang right off the bat. Let's go, let's go. Mm. What up, classy nasty? Wiggins was excellent on Wednesday. 
Chet, rocker step, gets into the paint, guarded by Grayson and hits a quick little midi. Damn. He's been doing that all season, folks. Just in his rookie season. Durant. Screen with Nurk. Kicks it down to Nurk. Nurk in the paint. Ah, gets it stripped by Giddy. Shut up, Giddy. You little diddler. Allegedly. How's that off Nurk? Are you guys kidding me? These are your favorite jerseys, Derek? I don't know. Josh Giggity. That's good, Connie. I've officially stolen it. And I won't give you credit. Scoreboard's working, right, Derek? Durant drives into the paint. Whips it to Beal in the corner for three. No. In and out. Damn. Josh Giggity. Giggity, giggity. All right. Blocked. Off the backboard. Chet to the rack. Mm, almost dunked it. Almost. I think I need dunks from him if I remember what I did right. Allen corner three. Bang. That's big. One guy you do not want to leave open is Grayson Allen. He's had an almost a historical season Josh from downtown. Diddy. Second best three point percentage. Giddy for three? No good. His three point shot is Book off. with the board. Pushes it up to Nurk. Got Chet guarding him. Gives him a nice elbow. Turnaround fadeaway floater. I'm not joking from Grayson. Is good. Crazy. Dort to the rack. Strong draws a foul on Book on the floor. And I really just hate that call. Classy Nasty with a member message from four months of scoreboard dark skin game. Alright, I guess I need to check the scoreboard and see why it's not working. Loose change off the floor. You pick that up, man. Put it in your pocket. It's worth something. That time it was two points. There we go. Should be working. Should be working. It looked right on my screen, but it wasn't showing up. Giddy to Jalen Williams. Pick and roll. He's got Durant on him. Steps through. Kicks it down to Chetsky. Pump fake. Blocked by Durant. But the Thunder are saying that it hit the bottom of the rim, even though you heard the buzzer. It got blocked. I mean, what are we doing? And now Scott Foster calling over all the officials as they try to get all the opinions. Am I going to jump ball out of this? I, I think that ball hit the bottom of the rim. You know? mm. He went up, got blocked into the rim. And that, that should be Thunder basketball on the picking up. Charlie Pro said, Allen signed my hat when I went to the game. That is sick. Hold on to that hat. Don't wear it. Do not wear that hat. Like, wrap it up. Because if the Suns win a title with him on the on the team, that once again price of that hat is going to just skyrocket. Backdoor cut. Puts it on the and they and score. The Josh base. Giggity That's Diddy. Well -executed set piece. Great pass. Book. Pick and roll with Nurk. Whips it to Allen. Allen to the rack. Kicks it into the corner to Beal. In the corner for three. Good! Thank you, Beal. Thank you, Beal. Williams. Deep midi is good. Man, that team is so good. Durant kicks it down to Nurk. Nurk to Beal. Beal to Gray in the corner. Perfect ball movement. I don't care that it missed. I don't care. Don't care. Durant throws it to Gray. Gray white flight turned into a finger roll. That was nice. Char, I think you might be experiencing a seizure. Diddy hits a uh, post move fadeaway on Allen. That's insane. That's unique within itself. He does not do that. Book into the corner to Beal. Beal to the rack. Back to the other corner. Another ball movement. Oh no, he didn't travel. Dude. 
Maybe he did. Oh, how about this? Pass is in the air. Stream froze. Is this is a beautiful connection. This time Diego says, yeah, that hat is going to go from being worth three dollars to four. Shut up. Good defense from Durant. Book. Kicks it all the way back out to Durant. Durant, beautiful dribble move. Book over to Beal. Beal for three. Drilled it. Drilled it. Hey, where's Nacho Man and Pac-Man been to talk their shite about Beal? What a good start to this game. Suns look like they are playing a lot like how they did last game. You just never know which team you're going to get. I think that's the team we've got. Ruben said his finger can't hurt that bad. Yeah, I mean, I am shocked he's been shooting it better with an injured, jammed ring finger. Whatever it takes. Gen, Gen X says, I'm hoping for Thad minutes. Thad minutes would be amazing. That It would... Oh, man, it would make me feel a lot better about Frank if Frank was willing to do that. You know, like I'm just asking split the minutes. Split the minutes between him and Nurk or uh, him and. Uh, Eubanks. Luigi said they're finally figuring things out about the whole big three. You know, I t oh, there's Pac-Man. Yeah, Pac-Man. He is learning to shoot again. You know, Luigi, I was talking to Gary today, and he was saying he was planning on betting on the Suns. He's like, I just feel like they're ready to turn a corner, which is just, I don't even have that kind of optimism necessarily, but. It was interesting to hear him say that. Dre God with the 499 dono says, get KD a warm welcome back in OKC, or was the hate still there, LOL? Oh, Diddy. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I didn't pay enough attention during the intro to see if they booed or not. We'll have to look that up on Twitter. Uh, Pazzo says, hey, Gabe, have you seen the new 10-day contract for IT? No, I didn't know they gave him one. That's awesome. If they already gave him one, good. On the Phoenix Suns for the third time this season. Now, when it comes to J-Dub, Jalen Williams, Coach Dagnall says offensively, he's just a guy that makes all the right plays, and therefore that makes him a very low mistake. Yeah, Pac-Man, it don't make sense. Efficient shooter, and that efficient shooting, it has put him in some. I hope it was embarrassing so enough for them to Let's take a look at the numbers. J-Dub is make a change. Above 50, 40, you know. 80 for the season, and is just one of a few players with those shooting splits, including a couple of Phoenix Suns who are on the floor right now, and Durant and Grayson. And Allen, Coach Dagnall told us that when you start, yeah, Metro, I don't know the why they'd be mad at him. Checks with his shooting, his defense, his passing, you realize still this many years later. So going to the Warriors is probably the reason why. Chet to Jalen, back to Giddy. Giggity, giggity. Left handed layup. Crazy. Cannot let him cook you like that. Booker over to Beal for three. Oh, no good, but gets his own rebound because he knew it was off. Got Chet guarding him. Kicks it down to Nurk. Giddy on Nurk. Back his little diddling ass down. Throws a hook out of bounds. Th shoots a hook shot that went out of bounds. It didn't hit the backboard. It didn't hit the rim. It just went out of bounds. I I don't understand that. Ooh, Allen fouls Williams going to the rack. Josh Giddy, you were, you were mentioning 220 Michael. watching. So Welcome in, everybody. We're at 55 likes. Trying to get to that hundo mark for Sundo before he gets here. If we can get to 100, I'm giving out a membership, so hit that like button. Williams' free throw is good. Phillips donates $100 to the Thunder Cares Foundation. For every shot blocked by the Thunder at home games with 256 blocks thus far, the current total sits at $25,600. 
So Both free throws is good. Blocks of the season. Visit OKCThunder.com slash blocks for bucks. How about Josh Giddy shooting almost 57% from the field and a bunch of marks. Talk about Martin. Beal bringing it up. Hand off to Durant. Gets it over to Grayson. Pick and roll. Gets it back down. Don't call a travel. Oh my God. What are they doing? What does Vegas want? Josh Giggity 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 Get 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 Crossover Loses the dribble Cause he's a bum Kicks it to uh, well, I mean threw it away But Suns aren't fast enough to get it They get a long rebound Miss a three Book with it Yeah these shoes are perfect These book ones are so Clean with these jerseys all right, don't travel, Grayson. Book, back to Grayson. Over to Durant. Good. Good pump fake. Ay, ay, ay. Long over the rim miss. Giddy to the rack. Through Nurk. Giddy is just flailing out there. Book. Uh-oh. Stops. Kicks it to Nurk. Gets it right back. Screen from Nurk. Over to Allen. Down to Nurk. There we go. Makes Giddy fall to the ground and hits the hook shot. There you go, Nerd. Get warmed up. Guys entitled to stand on the real estate. He's standing in, folks. That play right there, you can't call it anymore. Williams, mid range. Thank God, no good. Dort misses the rebound. He, he jumped a little too fast. Grayson gets it up to Book. Book baseline hangs off the backboard. No good. Late foul call. Or goal 10. All right. All right. Somebody touched it while it was on the backboard or something. Take a look at this. He just literally holds him over. All three officials just stand there. What happened? What up, LOL predicts? I don't think it's that deep, WD40. Chet. Oh, ripped by Beal. But they say it's off on him. Sundo's boyfriend. Gordon. I mean, yeah, Gordon Hayward in the game. And Mark Dagnall also going to bring in Jalen Williams. No, Daniel, Sundo's at church right now, but he should be done in like a half an hour. Doing things different and experimenting. And that's what Aaron Wiggins is in that starting lineup for the first time this year. Something Hayward like kicks it into Dort. Over to other Jalen Williams. Hand off. Pull up. No good. Durant with the board. Case and Wallace misses. Durant between the legs. Back and down. Case in. Pulling up. Boink. Drops, hits the back of the rim, goes straight up and down. Take it easy, Diego. We should ask him though, Diego. That would be a fun question to ask. Hand off from Jalen Williams to Carson. Carson hits the floater. Book bringing it up. Brought it by Kaysen. Oh, offensive foul away from the ball. I believe it's on Nurk or Kevin Durant fighting for position. <laughs> Daniel, no. We actually... That's an AI picture where I told AI... I described Sundo to AI, and that's what it came up with. I took some liberties. Hayward over to Isaiah Joe into the corner to Williams back to Hayward Hayward to the rack oh my gosh I can't believe he got that euro to go yeah that's American Swole though you can buy a t-shirt with that logo on it if you want on our merch shop book gets blocked out of bounds he's got more blocks this year than he did last year Right there, step for step on Booker. <laughs> oh, Luigi. Uh, it was like, you know, black man with beard. He wasn't the primary defender. I put bodybuilder. 
American flag, eagles behind him. And if this picture was bigger, you would see that Jesus is off to the side looking very pleased. But this is like a, a cropped version of it. The allotment here early, first quarter, two point game. Jesus looks very pleased with Sundo. Uh, it was <coughs> Bing Image Creator. We, t we made some other ones that, that weren't quite as flattering and they were hilarious. But some of them was just so obese. It's like, come on, he's not, he's not that big. Oh, Matt, I should make a, I should make this, but with a Mr. T haircut. Uh, yeah, I think Jesus, Jesus is on the shirt version with the shirt logo. It is. I think I can, I think I might be able to pull it up actually. They're doing a review right now. And they're playing copyright music. That's the only reason I don't have the audio on. So here's the white flight hat that I'm wearing. And, oh, I need to get that hoodie for me. All right, Scott Foster. The challenge team. So that, yeah, that's what the shirt and there's a hoodie and other stuff like that. Our advance is now time to honor copyright. This is how they'd get us. No, 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 no. Take that Voldemort. Kenny says, take out or take off Eubanks for Thad. You already know Eubanks is getting them minutes. But if we see Thad, it'd be incredible. VXQCU, I feel like I'm doing a, a vision test when I read your name. Um, is Thad going to start playing more over Eubanks? I don't think he's going to play over Eubanks. But it did sound like Frank was saying that um, it sounded like he was saying that he might use him for matchups in the playoffs. Coaching staff because he's a good passer. The, the so we'll see. Mac Mall, let me get you a VIP, my guy. And not only do you get the ball back, but you get one more challenge. Isaiah Joe, mid-range, no good. Scott Foster cooks us again. Their ball. Zinger box. VIP coming your way. Pull up again for the mid-range. This time, Isaiah Joe is good. Gordon losing his dribble a little bit. Pulls Gordon! Whoa! That was a bad shot. Good lord. Hayward. Uh-oh. Wiggins drills a deep three. Confidently. Grayson, screen from Eubanks. Downhill, left-handed layup is good. That's my, that's my white man. So Grayson Allen, the leading scorer in this first quarter for the Suns with nine. Williams to Gordon. Gordon baseline. Euro short. Left it short off the rim. Book bringing it up. Oh, little Bumpski Wumpski leaves it short on the finger roll, but he's going to get the call. He's going to the line. 72 likes, guys. We are close. Help us get to 100 before the end of this quarter, and I'm giving out a free membership. Book got some, like, gray hairs poking out. This is crazy. My man is stressed. Thunder fans, enter tonight's Watch to Win contest. Scan and complete the survey prior to the final game buzzer to enter for your chance to win. Yeah, you saw that, Dragon? Homeland gift card. 
The winner will be notified by text. Thunder up. Hooks free throws are good. So a team that gets to the free throw line, fourth best in association. You just commit your first foul. Williams, hand off to Gordon. Hayward. Back to Wiggins. Over to Isaiah Joe. Pump fakes Royce. Kicks it out to Wallace for three. Uh, Beal crossover. Downhill into the corner to book in the corner for three. No good. Rebound Jalen Williams. Wiggins to Williams. Pump fakes Eubanks. At least they're defending the three. Block! Gordon Hayward gets his white layup blocked by Eubanks. Booker crossover. Kicks to Gordon. Drills it! So shut up whoever's talking about Gordon. All right? Let my thick man get warmed up. Williams whips it to Gordon Hayward. Kicks it over to Wallace. Kicks it out to Williams. God damn it! Bounced around in the rim, hit the backboard, and dropped. Beal. Royce for three. Royce. Royce. Drills his first shot. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Two very good offenses. Two teams who shoot at a very high Williams. Hand off to Wallace. Kicks it back to Williams. Over to Joe. Joe for three. <laughs> and that was hand in the face defense, man. I, you can't even be mad at that. It's just sad. You could be sad about it. Beal to Royce. Pump fake in the corner. Gets it back to Beal. Beal to book. Screen Eubanks. Takes it left. Goes to the rack. Left-handed hook layup is no good. 19 seconds. They're going to get the last shot of the first. Hit that like button. We got to get one hundo for the free membership. We got 10 seconds. Wallace to the rack. Stripped by book. And they're going to say he got fouled. 86 likes. We got time. 14 more. Booker standing there like a stick man going, look, I, I've defended about as perfectly as I can, and it goes straight in. Booker's body language, Michael said it all. You could just kind of see the exasperation from him because he played perfect defense, and Isaiah Jones was way behind the three-point line. And Zakogi and his Book defense comes out. come in for Booker. A little bit of extra rest. No more fouls to get for Phoenix. Giddy into Williams, seven seconds. Up with a little bit of time. Williams, Euro, kicks into the corner to Hayward. Well defended. Almost went in off the backboard. Almost. Oh, baby. All right, what do we end up with? A hundred. Wow. You know, I really didn't think you guys were going to hit a hundred, honestly. So, appreciate it. Here comes that free Memby Wemby. Sunda will be pleased when he hears we hit a hundo. Chip gifting. Hopefully my money ain't funny. Who's it gonna be? Michael Bo, Bo wins. I think that's like Bo's second or third time winning. Congratulations to our newest horseman. Horseman. Glad to have you back in the family, my dude. And thank you guys for hitting that like button. It just, it really helps, man. We are at 109, I guess, you know. Definitely if we hit 200 at, by the end of the second, by, by halftime, I'll give out another membership. Seems lofty. We always slow down after the first quarter, but it's up to you guys. 
Avi says three point shooting has screwed the NBA. Surely has ch- uh, changed the NBA. You know, um, Celtics are what best record in the league, and they shoot by far the most threes. Let me see if there's anybody in here in playback that needs a VIP. No, you're all good. We're all good. Sundo's 23 minutes away from being done at Chutch. Then he'll probably join from his phone. You can put that on your desk and show it off to your students. Thunder Nation, make some noise for Jessica Sprague, your teacher of the game tonight. Roy had a dono? Roy had a dono. Said 199 says, I'm screening for the Suns. OKC. I'm I am screening for the Suns. OKC giving the look. Okay, so I think you meant to say I am screaming for the Suns. OKC fans are giving you looks. Is that what I'm gleaning? Chet hand off to Williams. Gets to the elbow. Beautiful pass to Chet. Dang it. Okay, got it, Roy. Beal to Durant. Durant? They're, they're booing Durant when he touches the ball. Eubanks, great rebound and second chance opportunity. Yep, they're, they are booing him when he touches the ball. That's hilarious. Durant, tough, fading shot in the mid-range is good. Williams kicks it over to Joe. Joe going baseline, drives it back out, gets it to Chet. Chet snatched back behind the back. Euro blocked out of bounds by Eubanks. Beautiful. Swoldo's at church for 21 more minutes. But he's in he's in the stream, he's just muted. Chet gets the inbound. Turn around, fade away, left it short. Eubanks board. Beal kicks it out. Gordon, no good from the corner. Ooh, nice in and out dribble from Casey Wallace. Cooked Royce. That was fast. You ain't stopping that. Durant. Driving left. Get in position, pulling the midi, and hitting. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, Jen, I agree. The, the booing is fueling him. Tackling heavy. Williams. Downhill. Stops. Pops. In and out. Eubanks rebound. Good minutes from Eubanks. Truly mean that. Gordon to Beal. Beal, spin move, pull up, mid-range, nope, nope, that was a little rushed. Chet to Williams, Williams baseline, whips it, Henrich Williams kicks it back to Joe, unbelievable defense from Royce, but Isaiah Joe does not care, slaps the three, the dude is always a Suns killer, what can you say? Where it was contested. Something going and on with the clock. No Devin Booker was on the first one. And Koji trying to figure out, okay, I got him this time. Well, maybe not this I don't time. even know how that shot didn't get blocked, man. Royce to Durant. Durant doubled, kicks it back to Royce. They're tired of him cooking. Gordon Brick three. Eubanks, unbelievable tap out like a volleyball fucking spike. Durant to the rack, scores over Chet. Beautiful. 
Chet trying to drive past Eubanks. Eubanks stands him up, but he hits a fadeaway in the mid range. Gordon to the rack, foul. Damn, that crossover was nasty. That little in and out has he. Jin, I mean, you could put that in, but Nurk is about to be ready to play. I want Nurk to come back in. You know? Gordon into Eubanks. Eubanks, baseline. Drops. Chet, but he lowered his shoulder. Offensive foul. And Eubanks is going to get called for the personal foul. I guess he gave a little chicken wing, but I don't know. Seriously, Mo, when are we going to get bowl? Like, this is getting ridiculous. They did call Durant for that foul. Similar to shove the door in the first quarter. Williams drives left, kicks it out to Chetty, Chet, Chet. Chet with the spin move, turnaround, has to get rid of it to William, to uh, Henrich. Dort pull up, nope, now blocked fast. He passed it. And Williams hits. <laughs> Jeez. MJ says, me want bull bull. The breakdown. It would be nice. It would be nice, but you know, Frank Vogel's smarter than all of us combined, isn't he? Mo says, why does our coach hate Bull Bull? That's a great question. Wish I knew the answer. I wish I knew why he just doesn't trust him. But yo, Eubanks doing work. Very happy with Eubanks, and Nurk's coming back in now with two points and one rebound and one assist. Yikes. Gordon's one for four from three. Royce, one for one. I'm ready for Grayson to get back in the game. I'm ready for the whole starting lineup. Let's be completely honest here. Maybe sub somebody for Bull Bull. Maybe Durant needs a break. I don't know. What up, DZ? <laughs> Back. With a mission in mind. He Almost. Can't play. Garrett, I want you to know something. 14 baskets. Guy win. I guess he's shooting a half-court shot now. Air ball. Mm, that's rough. Gemini says, this is a perfect game to play, Bull. Frank is an idiot. <sighs> I think every game... Every game, I, aren't we past the point where it's like, hey, here's a time we could play bowl. It's like every time. What are you talking about? Why aren't you developing him? What happened to in-game development? He's already proven that more often than not, far more often than not, he's a plus to the team. Why aren't you getting him developed so that you can use him in the playoffs? You don't have to develop that. Bull Bull's still developing. It takes big men longer to adjust to the game. God. Now we're back. Referencing the big three for Phoenix in Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, and Kevin Durant, the three of them. And played them just 32. I know, East. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, somebody good's available. I mean, this is another one of those games, and clearly a tough task for the Thunder defensively. I don't know. That's something we need to look at. Because it's likely, isn't it? Nurkic. 
Got Jalen Williams guarding. Oh my god, tries to pass it to Okogi in the corner who had someone defending him. God, that is just a double negative kickball from Grey Goose. No change in the shot clock. And that was coming out of a timeout, too. The Thunder read that beautifully, shutting down that, that play offensively. <laughs> Jock Vaughn, I don't know. I mean, what, didn't, what did he not just get fired for sucking in, in Brooklyn? You know? Should be able to do better. Williams to Williams over to Dort. He shot. Wow. 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 Beal to Durant. The boos come. The double comes. They whip it all the way around to Okogi. Allen, handoff to Beal. Six seconds on the shot. Beal to the rim. Stops, fades at the elbow, and hits. That shit's gorgeous, okay? That's Devin Booker-level shooting from the mid-range. That's... I once led the league in scoring with 31 points per game mid-range. Nurk! Oh, Nurk had a steal, but they recover. Williams drives left and pulls up and hits the midi. That is unbelievable. Durant, crossover, has he? Oh, that's an offensive foul on Durant. They don't call it, though. They don't call anything either way. Misses the midi, and it's going the other way. Williams, screen from Williams, over to Dort. Dort pump fakes, steps up and shoots the mid. Too deep, off the back of the rim. Beal in transition. Nope, nope, that ain't no good. Okogi saves the rebound, gets it over to Durant. Durant hits, and there's a technical. On Baby Beal? Not Baby Beal. He must have said something about getting fouled. Yeah, he must have wanted a foul call and didn't get it. Bang. Wow, we're at 120 likes, guys. I didn't think we were going to get 200, but we're we basically on pace for 200. Keep hitting that like. And uh, we're giving out another membership at 200 if we can get it before the halftime half show, which hopefully Sunday's here for him, right? He was called for one, and now he gets called for a flop. No, he actually got, he tripped over his own man. What are the officials seeing? Just watch the full play, please. Did they, was it a tech, or what was the call here? Probably could have. Let that one go. Giddy, sorry, Dort to the rack, kicks it to Giddy. Giddy passes it back door to Williams. I mean, this is like looking like a Hoosiers. Unreal. Durant with it, guarded by Dort. Kicks it to Book. Book. No, he would have hit the three, but Nurk got fouled. Someone trying to fight through the screen a little too hard. I get that. But that's happened three or four times not being called. P. Diddy's secret documents. No bowl yet, my guy. I agree. Frank is on one tonight. There's been some scrappiness, Michael. Undoubtedly. Gordon Hayward into the game, though. Sundo's. The KD Durant. Sundo's boyfriend of his dreams. Not joking. No judgment. That was definitely not a flop on Durant. Or excuse me, on Dort. Nurk, handoff to Durant. Durant. Ow! Oh, ugly crossover. Like, he went to cross over, and the ball just didn't go. The ball just left his hands, and Dort steals it. Dort to Williams. Over to Giddy. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Pulls the midi and hits. How about the blocking and tackling? That time by Jay Will as he took out two The real Sundo says, who's our coach next year? Well, not only is uh, I don't know. But the defense don't know. Really hardening up here in this second quarter. Limiting the Suns. Yeah, that was crazy. He just lost the dribble.
Yeah, Quan Adrian Griffin is somebody who I I would definitely have on my short list. Of course, on the short list again is going to be um Kevin Young. We just made him the highest paid assistant in the NBA and Durant and Book both vouched for him that he should be, you know, they thought he could be the head coach. And you're going to have to appease those two guys, whether you want to or not. Bent over a barrel for their pleasure. So, you know. Do you guys feel like we're get, it's the same thing as when... Wemby didn't play and so we came out and just played like we could do whatever we wanted whatever our hearts desired and we lost because of it do you think that's what's happening right now because I don't necessarily feel like that's what it is like I felt like the Suns really came out like no we're going hard we're going hard and then they're just getting beat by a better team (laughs) Which I don't like saying, you know. I'm not saying it's ending, DC. I'm just asking questions. Just wondering. Because I tweeted something earlier that was like, you know, I've seen this before. Finding out that the best player on the other team isn't going to play. Now, I do believe that... They had us down last time we played, and we were able to come back. So I think we can still come back. Down 12 ain't too much. Or 11, sorry. That's true, DC. They are hitting hand in the face shots. In this second quarter, the defense has really cranked it up a notch. All right, baby, Bull Bulls in. Let's see if Frank's smart enough to play him all five minutes. 66% from downtown, six of nine. That's doing a little damage on the scoreboard as well. Grayson kicks it to Nurk. Hand off to Book. Book whips it to Royce. Back to Grayson. Grayson, spin move. Giggity, giggity, diddy, guarding him. Oh, my God, Grayson. No, 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 no. Nurk gets the foul. Grayson couldn't hit the layup. Suns try to counter with a little bit of size here. They bring in Nurkic in. Another seven footer in Bull Bull. Nurkic nursing an ankle injury. Did not play in that victory for the Suns against the Denver Nuggets on Wednesday. As we take a look at tonight, tonight's Paris Devon injury report, SGA missing just his third game of the season, Michael, second consecutive. What I think it is, Matt, is that we're just a team that has 13 out of 15 new players, and we haven't played together long enough to be a like, super-duper cohesive team. You know? Nice chase down rebound from Grace and Royce kicks it to Book. Book goes downhill, pumps and pulls in. Really difficult to, but it goes in. Really difficult to. Hand down his throat, checking his tonsils. No Diddy. Williams to Giddy. Giggity, giggity to the rack. Giggity. Kicks it away and out of bounds. Unforced turnover. Well, forced, actually. Somebody was going to be out on the wing. Nurk, hand off to Book. It's a screen. Royce to Allen. Allen kicks it over to Bowl in the corner. Very unselfish Bowl. He could have pulled the balls all the way in the other corner, whipped all the way around the horn. Ain't no fucking way! Bro, Grayson Allen just hit the filthiest layup a white human being could make. Please show me show me a replay of this. For the love of God. Please. Gather himself. Give him a breather. 405 left to go in the second quarter. This was Grayson Allen. 
Sometimes when you, you go up like that to try to drop, to block a shot, you're a little vulnerable in the sensitive areas. Quite a shot there too. Take a time out to That was literally insane. That was, I mean, that looked even better in, uh, in instant replay. That's crazy. Oh, man. Hmm. I mean, honestly, do we go into the luxury tax for Grace and Allen? I think yes. That's just me. You know? In Orlando. And Jay go. Will is going to need a little extra time. He's going to walk back to the locker room. And Chet Holmgren is going to return. Okay, one of the Jalen Williams is off to the locker room, I think. Six point OKC lead. Under pack control here this second quarter. Isaiah Joe off the handoff from Holmgren. Drives in, stripped, got it right back in the corner. No hesitation on the shot, and he knocks down another three. Man, that was pretty good defense by Koji. Knocking the ball away. Isaiah Joe just kept moving without the basketball. So good at that relocation. So after the 17 last night, 11 more here in the first half. Bull, bull. Hand off to Grayson. Grayson off the dribble three. That's tough. It's just, he didn't have time. He didn't have time to be pulling that. pressure on Bull Bull. Looking for the cut. And they'll have to reset the offense. Hayward. Open three for Isaiah Joe. And you think he's going to miss that? You think he's going to miss a wide open three? Call a timeout, Frank. You fucking hair plugs. McGee. Well, Book hits a nice little quick layup. That's nice. Shot it through that contact as well. Giddy into the corner to Hayward. Hayward, half spin, kicks it. Ooh, almost threw it away. Joe saves it. Kicks it to Giddy. Giddy right back to Joe. Joe back to Giddy. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Kicks it out. Hayward running floater is good. Good. Book. Gets it right back from Royce. Kicks it down to Royce. Pick and roll. Over to Grayson in the corner. Grayson, no good. Nurk slaps it right back to Grayson for another try. No good. Gordon Hayward with it. Sun's down 12. 2.05 to go. Giddy. Hand off to Holmgren. Chet to the rack. Chet. Stopped by Bull. Late foul call. They're dick riding. Okay? That's a nice move by Chet. Just to string that out and put that foul on Bobo after getting away from Nurkic. Now he's got two free throws. Bro, Chet looks like a straight up skeleton. Gotta be honest. And now quick word from Jack in the Box. Like a skeleton with skin. At my new Smash Jack. Which I guess he just, he is a skeleton shirt. with skin, Welcome right? So I take it back. He looks normal. Tonight. And you know how important it is your bench is just playing a game already. The bench has 32 points right now. Buck 55 to go just in the second quarter. How they've stepped up tonight. Much like Wednesday night. Fourth most bench points on the season. Chat second free throw is good. Converts at the free throw line. Two for two. And we're at 142 likes. 
153 to go. Hit that like. We might have to amend it up to like 175. This Phoenix team, Michael, 175 is another membership by the end of the second. Kevin Durant gave up so much to to try to create this trio. Gordon into book. was acquired in the offseason. Finally coming over from the book crossover. Oh, that's an offensive. Gonna take the bump. That's gonna be a foul. They called that against Joe. I feel bad for him. Now, you say that this I need to see it again. Isaiah Joe, Michael was anything more the, than what we saw from New Dork with the flop. I feel like that's a foul on us, but okay, I'll take it. Durant doubled, kicks it to Grayson over to Beal in the corner for three. Beal good from three. Let's go. He was in Washington. Of that is because the scoring a little more distributed. Williams ripped by Gordon. Gordon. Nice bounce pass to right flight. Okay. That was a hell of a dunk from Grayson. And a rare first half turnover for OKC. Steal. Foul. What was the foul? Where was the foul? Come on. That's going to lead to free throws for the Thunder. As Booker caught the arms. What up, Chris? Up J Dub on that pass. So J Dub. Who doesn't really believe Michael Brulee, I do. I trust Ishbia. The sophomore slump. As much as you could trust an owner to make basketball decisions. We've seen that now. Because he's last year when his game only got better. A strong basketball mind too. It's gotten better here in year number two. That's hard. Book bringing it up. One minute to go. Isaiah Joe guarding. Screen from Gordon. Book kicks it to Durant, who's been quiet as of late. Kicks it to Book, over to Gray, back to Book, seven seconds. Book to the rack, lefty finger roll after giving uh, Jalen Williams a nice shoulder bump. Strong man's take. Jalen Williams, screen from Dort. Crossover, gets to the rack, nope, pops. Wow, thank God that was in and out. That was beautiful. He's so good. He's so unexpectedly great. Booker push crossover gets ripped. They throw it up to Gordon Hayward. Hayward wraparound pass is good to Williams. Great pass because he was going to get that shit beat. Durant doubled at half court. Kicks it to Gray Goose. Goose over to Book. Book. Downhill, takes a bump, gives a bump, charge, and one. What are they calling here? Book's upset. Maybe he's upset that they didn't give him continuation. Yeah, they didn't give him continuation. Yeah, Mac, I'm... I'm, uh... I need to shave my head. That's why I'm not showing me baldness. Um, I have no idea what the score is going to be. I mean, I think 120, 120 plus, somewhere in that range, the way they're scoring tonight. Unless the defense picks up in the second half. Free throw. Good. Five seconds here for J-Dub. Last shot here, Jalen Williams to the rack. Very fast. Nice layup. Come on, can we, can we, no, we're not going to get a better attempt. You guys, you had two seconds. Can't throw it to half court and then, uh, uh, uh. Rick says they play zero defense. Absolutely. In a game like this, there's, there's no question that the defense is lacking, right? Like, um, push this back a little bit. Um, they are closing out on threes. I do feel like I'm seeing them close out on threes. But transition defense sucks. Like, 
70 points is 70 points. You put up 59, terrific. Hats off. 59 is a great number. Great number to be doing offensively. But you got to get stops. Like, I don't know if he needs to tinker with the lineups or what to make it so that the defense changes. Maybe just a good old um, verbal ripping could get the job done. You know, maybe if he just goes off on them, that'll be enough. Maybe they'll go off on each other. Pause. No ditty. Emperor Baby Sweet Baby Ray says, we have made comebacks. I ain't worried. Yeah, dude, 11 is not too much. The Suns are still 100% in this game. 100%. This OKC team is... Like, they're, like, a couple of games away from being the first seed in the West. Like, it's okay. It's okay to have to come back against these guys. You don't want to have to come back against the Pistons, although you absolutely have to. You don't want to have to come back against the Spurs. That's upsetting. But it's okay to have to come back as long as you do versus the Thunder. If you come back against the Thunder, that's very admirable. It shows that a hot, really good, really solid team, and I don't even care that Shea's not in the game. Seriously, that's how good they are. They don't need Shea to beat us. They are a team. A, a, they're a, what's the word I want to, I want to use? They're a cohesive unit unlike us we're still a team that hasn't finished an entire season playing together only two people on this team have played together before um ollie said we should match up their match up their lineup yeah i think getting bull bull in there more would be great uh and i mean i don't know if that's exactly what you're suggesting but bull would really match up well against chet I would like to see that. Golf Report podcast says bench with only six points. Yikes. Yeah, that's not uh, that's not what you're looking for. Uh, pull the stats up here. Since Sundo must be uh, fraternizing at church, you know he's probably... Shaking hands, signing autographs, and kissing babies right now at church. Let's see. Anybody say anything important here? All right. So, Durant started out hot. I believe he had all 14 points. Maybe it was just 11 in the first quarter. And then just zero to three points here in the in the second. So, they got to get that now. The Thunder are doubling the shit out of him. Okay. Uh, they're they're really doubling him. Because he was so hot. They're like, okay, adjustment. In-game adjustment. In-quarter adjustment. Double him. Double him. Don't let him. Double him. Like that type of attention. So kudos to them. Nurkic has played 15 minutes. And boy, you just really have not felt his impact at all. Can't imagine he's feeling great with that sprained ankle, but that's something to keep an eye on. Are they going to have to just pull Nurk from this game? You know, Eubanks, man, Eubanks, he's, well, he's a minus seven, but we're all, we're all minus because we're down, but I feel like he did good. He had a couple offensive rebounds that gave us second opportunities. He's got four total rebounds and two blocks. Um, good on him. Grayson, if Grayson could just start hitting his threes, he's one for five. Beal's three for five. Beal's got 11. Nice even scoring here. 11, 13, 12, 14. Nurkic's the only one not really scoring, but yeah, no one off the bench is scoring. Gordon and Allen, one of those guys, or or Royce, One of those guys needs to pop off. Preferably, we're going to need two of them to pop off. 
Yeah, I'm seeing this halftime show. I'm assuming it's that one that they all do. Yeah. I do honestly, I do want to know how they how they do this. Miss Don says everyone on the team is minus. Yeah, I think that's usually how it is when you're losing by 11, you know. Love Yourself says Frank is another Monty. He has favorites, 100%. Mr. Nasty One says watch the refs in the second half. They'll be helping the Thunder. I already feel like they kind of been helping the Thunder. But then again, Book has gotten away with some push-offs that I feel like could have went either way depending on what the ref wanted to do. Jeff says Eubanks is lost most of the time when he's on the court. He looks so uncomfortable. Do you feel like he's looked uncomfortable tonight? Are you watching him closely tonight? Because I feel like tonight he's really giving good effort to help get offensive rebounds and and just he blocked a couple of shots already, you know. He's not much of a scorer, you know, unless it's a dunk, he ain't scoring. Or, you know, hook shot here and there. Bobby says, Frank is the doom of this team. Pretty much. Pretty much. Somebody made a comment in our video uh, a couple days ago, and it was just so brilliant. It said, I think Frank was hired because he's a center fixing coach. So they got him for Aiton. But then they got him, and then Aiton asked out, and now we're left with Frank, who we probably wouldn't have picked if it weren't for Aiden. And I could really see that as being a possibility. I'm not 100% sold that that's what happened, but I'm 50-50 I'm on it. It sounds like a really good working theory. Ali on God says, don't use our center Nurkic. Eubanks does, uh, isn't effective. Our experience, our experience much greater than OKC. Just level the matchup. I mean, I would like to see Thad. I would like to see Thad in there. Suns Valley, I mean, we do our fair share of blaming with the players too, trust me. But the true answer to that is his lineups. We hate, Suns fans hate his lineups. And that was the big thing against Monty too. Come hell or high water, Monty was going to be playing Shamit more than he should. He was going to be playing Abdel Nader over Tory Craig. You know, it, it, that's what it, that's what it comes down to. For right or for wrong, I'm not saying all the fans are right and that he's always wrong, but fans do not agree with his lineups. Same thing with Monty. Like, it would be incredible if we just, I mean, I, I don't even know what it would be like to have a coach where you were, that you're like, wow, I love his lineups. It's like he plays everyone the right amount. Like, coaches just, our coaches have always had that with us. So, that's why I think people blame the coach. Because it's like, if you would just play the right players, we'd be better off seems like the easiest thing to control if you could control any aspect as a coach. Matt Hayes says, Gabe, that's because his lineup suck and he never plays a true point guard. We have one now. That too, okay? Things like bringing in IT and refusing to play him and letting everyone know you're not going to play him. You know, you literally have... Chet Holmgren's physical equal out there, bull bull, and you refuse to play him against Chet. Mr. Nasty one, I'm glad you say Azubike because I'll go to my grave saying that Azubike should have been in the lineup from the start. That never made sense to me. That screams... We don't want to play players that are on a two-way because they're not getting paid real money, which is crazy. Where is Lasundo? He should have been done with church 
16 minutes ago. Suns Valley says fans want want IT and Thad Young to play, but they are third string players for a reason. Not always a good reason. Like this time, the reason is because we're paying. It feels like because we're paying uh, Eubanks and because we tampered for Eubanks. And so he gets to play first. We have to use that asset that way. Um, just because IT is the third stringer doesn't mean he's not better than Saban Lee. You know what I mean? Like he wants to play Saban Lee before he wants to play IT. The only reason he's third string is because that's what Frank decided. But that doesn't mean that it was the right decision. You know, well, Styles, he was out of the league for injuries, but he is fully healthy. You could tell by the way he was playing in the G League. He wasn't just doing okay in the G League, he was putting up all star numbers in the G League. Um, He's actually fully healthy. It took him a while. He's a little older, so he's not going to be exactly as good as he was when he was younger, but he's finally healthy, and he's a hell of a point guard. You know, can't do nothing on defense. I won't lie and say that he can do anything on defense, but that fits in perfectly with our roster. By the way, we mentioned this on Bleacher Report, but I was coping after the Rockets game, after those two Rockets losses, and I was saying, you know, that it was definitely cope talking, but like hopefully, or copefully, the Rockets are actually secretly becoming a really good team. And at the end of the year, we'll be like, hey, those Rockets losses don't look so bad because the Rockets are actually good now. And that's actually come true. They're on like a 10 or an 11 game win streak right now. Nasty one says if the Suns had another option, Frank would be gone. I think Frank got saved this season by the injuries. You could always fall back on the injuries and say, well, either Beal's out or, well, either Book's out or Durant. So you can't blame Frank because he never gets to play, coach the whole big three. And so I think that's what saved him, truly. Oh, that was a crazy dunk from Kaminga. We're almost back, folks. Sundo might be joining. His camera just went down. WD-40, if Durant can continue to play like this next season, I think we will be better because we'll have a whole season under our belt of playing together, and I think that'll go a long way. We are getting a call live on stream from Sundo. Hold on, Sundo. Yes. Uh huh. They just took over. They're hitting tough shots. They're hitting tough shots. So, 
So is it is it we're playing bad defense or is it or is it they're just hitting shots and they're playing better? A little bit of both, but our defense isn't as bad as usual. We're actually closing out. They're just hitting everything. And inevitably, you're going to get into rotations, but it's about how quickly you can get the possession under control and not allow an easy look. Yeah. Defender did a really good job of that throughout that first half, and then offensively, he said this, the key has been playing as a group without Shea Gildas Alexander out there on the floor. It's been harder right, for man. Phoenix to key in on one guy. So the answer for the Thunder. You're good. You're good. On the offensive end, has been to really move the ball and move it quickly. Yeah, thank you, Paris. Good. Look at the, the box score, Michael. Everybody who played for Oklahoma City ended up scoring in that first half. Oh, and I thought the bench. We haven't had Burner yet, so. Just making a, a difference out there as he you know, hits a little mid range. With those they got a hundo for Sundo in the first quarter. In perspective, Phoenix only had six. All right. Rare turnover. Told you guys. Possession. All right, man. Wiggins starting the third quarter. Inside, nowhere to go, keeping the pivot foot down. Five seconds. Giddy, giddy, up. giggity, giggity, pull up, floater. Ew! So ugly, man. So ugly. He's been about as steady as a ship in calm waters. Just smooth. Book, screen from Nurk. Kicks it out to Grayson, over to Beal. Beal back to Grayson for three. Air ball. Sun's still down 11. He came in, Michael. 47% from downtown. That's second best in NBA history for somebody who's taken at least 300 attempts. Yeah, he's right now. He's one for six. He's had a couple of good looks like Chet that. pump fakes. Durant should have kept driving left, but he does a couple of extra moves. He does get fouled. He's going to the line. Coming up for Chet Holmgren as he put it on the deck. about that moment here? Seven foot one. Spins to the Buzzy Sundos on his way home. To his body. He'll be here soon. Forces the veteran Durant to hack him on the arms. Not a whole lot of free throws taken between these two teams. Just 12. Don't say it out loud. Yeah, Grayson's nobody, ice nobody cold golf. That. Okay, you didn't hear it. And now quick word from Academy Sports and Outdoors. Chet hit the first free throw. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Ollie. Use O'Neal and Gordon, see if one of those can start hitting. Like that spot has to be hitting. We have to have one of them dudes hitting. That too, we need Sundo. Durant to Nurk, top of the key, looking. Hand off to Beal. Beal, nice pass to Nurk for the jam. Alama, 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 ding dong. Let's go, Nurky. Dort to the rack, hangs, finishes. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Book, transition three. Doink, no good. Beal with the rebound. Throws it away, trying to give it to Durant. Just throws it to OKC. Giddy, giggity, 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 giggity. Hits the finger roll, and the Suns are down 15. To these young guns. So this is what OKC looks like when they are on one. They look great. They look great. Gemini said, good luck next season, sons. There's still time. There's still time. Um, so I ask you guys again, does this or does it not feel like when the Suns just played the Spurs without Wemby? Does it feel like that again? Is that what we're seeing? Are we seeing a team that thought it was going to be sweet because there was no Shea? I mean, surely they're not making that mistake again, right? Bobby Phillips says it's on Frank because he's playing short players. How can y'all not see this? Yeah, it's certainly not helping.
Uh, Abraham Martinez with the 199 dono says, OKC is just better. There's not much to say. I mean, talent wise, I don't think they're, I don't think that they're better than us talent wise. I think they're a better team that plays together better. I really do. They're just more cohesive. They play better defense. And yeah, I mean, they're probably better coached too. Let's be honest. They have chemistry. Well said, sweet baby Ray. Buzzy says, no way the Suns are better. Are you kidding me? Suns have Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, and Kevin Durant. They've got Grayson Allen and Gordon and Royce O'Neal. Like, the Suns are super stacked with talent, but talent isn't enough. It's not enough at this level. He had great perspective the other night. He said, you look at the big picture. We're a winning team. I'm in a really good place. Have great people around me. There's Beal gonna be ups and gets downs a couple of screens. With it Kicks it to Durant. Yeah, thank you, Jake. He is good to have him back in the game. Durant, swipe through. Double comes. He turns off the backboard. No good. Nurk with a tip up. No good. Chet get, uh, comes away with that rebound. Pushes it up to Giggity Diddity. Over to Williams. Oh, my God. He went for a fucking crazy jam. Dort gets the rebound. Giggity for three and drills it left wide open. Left wide open, folks. Grayson to Nurk. Kicks it to Beal. Beal. And a Nurk foul on the screen, I believe. And I believe this is going to be a foul on Chet Holmgren. Chet Holmgren foul, okay. And that is number one on Holmgren. Well, officials said that Chet pushed Nurkic into... That was a bailout for the Suns. Beal, jab step. Goes left, steps through, gets it to Grayson, up to Book, Book, pump, gets it out to Durant for three. No good, it's great offense, but he's got a hit. Grayson, open three off the long rebound, left it short. Uh, Nurk and Book fight for the rebound. It gets tipped to Durant for a midi. No good. Just not hitting, folks. Dort for three, drills it. Drills it. That's the difference between hitting and not. 84 63. Sun's down bad. Sun's down bad. Sun's down bad. Need Sun Doe. Quickly. Damn, OKC looking good. What do you guys think? Huh? What do you think? Oh, man, we're, you know, I, I don't want to speak too soon, so I'll hold my take until later. Emperor Day One, Baby Boy, Sweet Boy, Sweet Joy's Boy, Corduroy, Sweet Baby Ray with the 499 dono says, we do good, but these games make us go two steps back. Yeah, we're definitely going two steps back right now. No. Matt Hayes says, I'm missing an AA meeting for this. Well, hopefully they come back and they don't drive you to, you know, you know what. WD40 says, don't even try for the play and just tank. Relax. All right. Relax. Bobby Phillips says this is coaching. Spray May says CP3 made Booker. Well, he definitely made him better. That's why having a true blue point guard is 
in me and Sundo's opinion, a, a necessity for this team. So Gemini says sh Sun should just forfeit this. So here's what I'm thinking, okay? Tonight you're getting a really good OKC Thunder performance. I feel like if the Suns played the, the Thunder in a seven-game series, it would be a terrific series. And, and one or two of those games, especially at home, this is what they would do to us. But that doesn't mean you can't beat them in seven games. It's not what that means. You guys will see some of you are young and you don't have enough playoff uh, runs under your belt uh, as a viewer to, to go off of. But the playoffs are different. So different. Rolando from the Philippines. What's going on, Rolando? East Metro says, I love your optimism, Gabe. Well, you know me. I go negative, too. Like, this is genuine optimism. I'm not just BSing. Like, I really feel that way. I really do. Especially because this is a game where they are just hitting, even with a hand in the face, and we're missing even open shots. So that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. T, I don't know. I don't think he's going to play. Royce corner three. Bounces up and out. Giddy. Whips it to Dort for three. No good. Thank God. That would have been a backbreaker. Book. Crossover. Floater, no good. Lay up. He just he goes flying like a cartoon character out of bounds. I hope he's okay. Giddy for three. He's feeling it. Saves his own rebound. Suns ball. He's going the other way. And Booker very slow to get back into the play. He took a hard fall on that drive to the basket. Back went slid into the chair. Kevin Durant with that three-point shot. Durant hits a nice quick three. Giddy bringing it up. Sun's down 18. Book almost fouls. Book does foul. Book a little uh, overzealous hand checking, if you will. He's going to really kick in, and there's 7:31 left to go in the third quarter. If you're OKC, you got to be ready for it. Oh, absolutely. You know, it's a lot of time left in this ball game. But you're playing the right game now. You're keeping it fast. You're spreading the floor. Wiggins gets it to Williams. Williams to Giddy, who's clapping for the ball. He drives right past Royce and hits a lefty layup. Giggity, giggity, all right. And a foul on Book. I'm going to, man, this is getting out of hand. Don't you think? That is just a nice power play. This is getting rough. Rough. Rough stuff. Easy call for Scott Foster out front. Josh Giddy is just imposing his will around the basket. Williams to Giddy. So much so that now Durant is on him out on the perimeter. Ooh, steal from Durant. Durant kicks it to Book. Book over to Royce. Royce gets that shit. B. Off the backboard, my God! Wiggins spin move, wow! Pack it up, pack it up. This is a straight beat down, Beal to the rack, blocked by Williams! Giddy, in transition, says, How you, how's my dick taste? Three no good from Williams. Gordon. Durant. Listen to that crowd boo. Swipe through. Kicks it out to Beal. Beal. Ooh, doing hella crossovers. Gets to the rim and scores through Jalen Williams, who just blocked his last layup. Deficit against OKC. The last time these two teams met, and the Thunder had a 24 point lead. Williams to the rack. Stolen. Bad pass. Royce with the steal. Kicks it to Beal. Over to Durant. Giddy guarding. Spin on him. Durant throws it directly to Wiggins. I, I mean, that was. 
I don't even want to talk about it. Can we just not talk about it? And then Wiggins Euro layup on the other end. Suns down 22. Oh, Sundo has officially forsaken us, I think. Durant kicks it over to Gordon. Loses the dribble. Gordon going to the rack. Thick boy style. Thickums! And one! Thank you, sweet Thickums. God damn, what a block. Oh, my lord. Swats it down and keeps it in play like a volleyball player. Yeah, Wes O'Neal never stood a chance. Gordon's free throw is good. Three-point play the old-fashioned way. J-Dub's going to get a rest here. Five and change. Maybe Metro. Here in the third quarter. Well, that uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now our cameras are reversed. Splits the defense. Once again, attacks too strong. Wiggins right there for the follow. And they're going to call a foul on Booker. A, a foul on the follow prior to the put back by Wiggins. That's one of those incidents, Michael, where you wish that the foul wasn't called because you had to guarantee mm -mm -mm -mm. two. Gets by. Was that hit on the arm? And Josh is pleading his case. <laughs> there he is. And it looks like Phoenix wants to challenge. That was the hold Can the you hear me, line. Gabe? Yes, sir. Frank Vogel's going to use it here. Right. 4.57 on the clock here, third quarter. Stupid baseball shirt is hot. Mm. Being given to the free throw shooter. Phoenix called timeout to challenge ruling on the floor. We got a timeout. So both coaches have challenged. This one's interesting, Mike, because it, it's going to be Thunder basketball. Gotta even turn if turn this challenge. song down. Book uh, is f trying to coach up the troops. Sunda, we're down bad, and we're glad we're you're here. Bad. Thunder Talks says, are we contenders to you? Oh, absolutely. And I've been saying I won't count the Thunder out just because they're young and don't have playoff experience because that was us in 2021. Oh, yeah. you talk, Thunder talking to what, YouTube? Yeah, yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, I would definitely compare your team now to the Suns. Oh, yeah. 2021, for sure. I, I was just about to say I was willing to bet the farm. <laughs> you knew God it was coming to you. Places. Anyway, how, how, you feeling about the, the, how do you feel about the baseball shirt? Where the whiskey drowns and the beer. I'm asking places. you about my baseball shirt. Ninja. Oh, the baseball shit is fire. Fire. Hey. Okay. I'm on sideways on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we're back. For those you can't see because Gabe's got my camera weirded. I'm going to go grab some pepperoni and cheese. BRB. Mm -hmm. Oh, as soon as I get here, I can't even, can't even eat my food. I am starving, bro. I haven't eaten anything. Me too. My fast is going on. He hits the first free throw. And now quick word from Jack in the Box. You're looking at my new Smash Jack. One bite, and you'll have a new mm, favorite mm, burger. Mm. Welcome to Jack in the Box. Hurry up and get your macaroni and cheese, you bum. Pepperoni and cheese. What'd I say? Oh. Go ahead and get your macaroni and cheese, my guy. Allen. Beal top of the key. Gets a pick. Gets a Durant. Durant. Turns. Beal. O'Neal. Allen. Because Gordon in the corner, Gordon back to Allen, Allen for three, front rim, no good. Rebound by OKC. Dort wide open because nobody got back. Three-pointer hit. Well, if it isn't the old Suns that are back. The Suns are back in town. Gordon misses that three. Giddy. Uh, Diving. Giddy. Giddy's been, Giddy's been eating the our ass like The Suns are back in cough, town. Boy, the Suns are back in town. Wow. Da-da-da-da-da. 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 
Da 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 da. We suck. Gray Gray can't hit a a damn shot. Durant his name is nails a three in someone's face. Giddy. Top of the key guard by Bill gets a pick. Mm. Once again, too easy in the paint. Beal with the steal, kicks Durant. Durant the gray, gray. Grayson, Giro. Once a foul, doesn't get it, and the ball's thrown off the of that, of him. That is a perfect. No, that's exactly how this game has been all game. That, that's a perfect encapsulation of what this game has been. I mean, just a terrific defensive play. Looks like it'll be an easy bucket for Allen. Gets stripped and not given a word up. Type shit. You, know? just, you talk about thinking on the fly. All right, so everybody yelling in the chat. I understand why you're yelling, but who do you want to play? <laughs> Styles is like Grayson, no Grayson, sit him the whole game. Who's gonna play in front? Oh, Dort, high three, no good. Durant saves the rebound. Wow, man, this Thunder team is everywhere. Yup. Don't worry, I'm gonna make a bold prediction. Fourth quarter run coming. <laughs> Scott Foster making sure these substitutions. That's what. Book. That's what you want us to think. To in the third quarter. <laughs> <laughs> See if the Thunder can finish out this quarter strong, like in these final three minutes. Well, they're doing all the right things. They're shrinking the floor on the Suns. They're making mm -hmm. the shots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So that's six quick Game points three for from Durant. Durant. All of his shots, his main shots here in the third quarter have come from deep. Bro, just get it to 15. Yeah, Chad Holmgren. Got it back. Good D by Unbelievable. Yeah, but I think he stepped out. It don't matter. I was going to be wide open to Chad Holmgren. If that was anybody else guarding him, that's a wide open shot. Right. This is where, you know, you, you could encounter a little bit of a lull here, Michael. And you know you got that 20 says, oh, it's Scott Foster. No wonder we're down. <laughs> he don't hate us anymore. You know, we got rid of Chris Paul. Look at this. Good Lord, Holmgren. There we go. All right, Katie, do something with it, bro. Ooh. They just booing Durant. Gordon! Oh my gosh! Gordon. Grayson and Gordon have airballed now from three. From that same spot, actually. Come to think of it. Jalen Williams, guarded by Okogi. Jade up. Isaiah Joe had a big first half. Casey Wallace driving, kicking, open three-point shooting. Mm. Williams. Here's the deal. They are missing so much, too. you got to take advantage of it. Mm. Have to. Gotta be careful here. You don't foul with all that perimeter pressure. Anytime you guys want to kick. Gordon to the rack. Gordon trying to drive. Picks it out to Royce. Over to Grayson. Open corner. Okay. Grace is cold, huh? That's an understatement. Icy, bro. Like Gucci Mane. Understatement, bro. Yeah, where the hell is Booker? Donkey Balls, I agree with that. Can we at least try to force some fouls? But we got Scott Gordon! No good! Royce rebound and put back. Thank you, Royce. Gosh, man. Got it within 20. with 62 seconds. On the clock here in this third quarter, he's going to call a If timeout. only there was a point guard now, that's sitting on the bench early in the that we could quarter, from the maybe Suns. try out who could hit we'll another shot. Things a little bit here. Frank and interested in all that. Okay. Drag out said book has five fouls. He can't come back in. That makes sense. Hmm. That's rough, bro. That is rough. Like, if only there was another option 
that's sitting on your bench. Perfect time to throw who, IT in there to help run the offense. Who might be able to hit shots in your team camp. You know? Yeah. It's not about thinking IG can come in and save the day scoring, which he probably, I mean, it's not that he can't because he could, but it's not why we want him in. We want him to come in and pass the ball around. I mean, that too, but right Accurate. now, it, well, we're getting open shots. Can't nobody hit. Oh, Kobe went all wow. the way up. How did he stop that? Dunk. Oh, but I thought that was a good play. Yeah. Oh, that's a foul, but hey. Got Foster, baby. But, and Bull Bull ain't been getting no minutes this game. About that. Mm-mm. Are, are you kidding me? Nope. Not a second to play. Okay, I can't stand this dude, Kobe, bro. I can't stand him. Dad, that pass. I'm not going to say it was single-handedly the reason you won, but that was a big part and the reason why you beat the Nuggets last game. And Make a big move with two you just say, you know what, I don't want to play. Yeah. Yeah. Move fast and enter today. About to be a 20-point deficit again. After this free throw. says uh, our games are decided by the performances of Grayson Allen and Gordon and Eubanks because Frank isn't playing anyone else. Really thinking about it at the line. Can't disagree. That's what I'm talking about, bro. The Suns. A couple more possessions remaining in this quarter. Ball turned out on the perimeter. Durant was looking to get rid of it. This lineup is crazy because the only man score you got right now is Durant. Switch there with Kenridge. Gordon, Gordon to the rack. And he got swallowed up. IT would have passed it. Out of bounds with three seconds. You hear his scream at the end. <laughs> Great rim protection. Gordon's one of those guys. He likes to try to draw a foul around the basket. Was not happy that he did get the whistle. Only three seconds on the shot clock. Yeah. Hey dot. Oh my god. Hey dot says, Do y'all remember the time Monty was doing the same shit against the Clippers and decided to bring Aaron Holiday and Wayne right in and they almost came back? I don't remember that, but man. This is. We got way better options than uh, Holiday and Wayne right, too. That's the funny thing. And Durant misses the free throw. He has been. The one to keep the Suns relatively close. He's played some heavy minutes already. Approaching 30 through three quarters. Durant's good. Doing a good job of just slowing him down at times. He can be a very streaky shooter when he gets it going. W Clips says, where's your faith? Trust in the issue of Frank will figure it out. We got KD and Bill. Um... That dribble alive, to Here's the deal. Here's why we don't have faith. Is he because a good coach would see, hey, this this player doesn't have it. Let me try something else. That's not what he's doing right now. You have a perfect valuable option to play point guard right now off the bench. You just do. You know, you're not doing it. Booker's in foul trouble. But you're playing Okogi, who I love as a defensive beast. But Okogi, as he misses a three. <laughs> I, when you're down by 21, I don't think Okogi on the on the uh, floor is an answer. That's just me. Y'all may disagree, but just don't think he's an answer. What about you, Gabe? Well, I'm not too mad about this game. You know, okay. I'm not. I get that it's OKC, right? Mm -hmm. I'm fine with that. 
That's not what I'm mad about. Gulf Report says, who do you think is the answer? Well, who was it that said earlier? I'm going to have to look up. Martinez says, I'm dumb of Vogel. He's gotten options on the bench. $2 super chat. Thank you. Who was it? It was Cole, Cool Cole. This is why I would say our game performances are decided by Grayson Allen, Gordon, and Eubanks because Frank doesn't play anyone else. So it's not that who do I think the answer is, though I do think one of your answers is on the bench. I do think Bobo you need to get too. IT out there. Bobo out there is a score. Dad Young just showed you what he could do on defense and getting rebounds and being a menace. Last game, hasn't seen any minutes. There's there's a lot more answers than just your regular rotation. If your regular rotation isn't working, you got to try something else. WD4 says, why do you guys always give the small three a pass? It's not really giving them a pass, but it's literally all we have. <laughs> Yeah. And that leads to me when they're playing bad and then your bench players are also playing bad, then you got to go further down. Like That's all I'm saying. I think that Vogel thinks that we're only eight deep, it seems like. I don't even feel like, like he only plays Allen, Gordon, Bobo maybe. Does he even play Bobo? He played him for like at most five minutes. I don't even think he got the full five minutes, maybe. Right, you could play Bull Bull some more. Yeah, so who knows? But what, what do you know? I'm not a coach, so I'm just going to be quiet and deal with it, right? They've really tightened their grip on this game in quarters two and three. Thanks to some big play up. Big plays yeah. from Josh Giddy. 21 points, six rebounds. They let Giddy when you're down, go when you're ballistic. He scored at least 20 points. And this was your stat to watch coming in the Thunder bench. Great guys, his Nuggets getting destroyed too. I think OKC's getting number one seed. OKC's good, man. That's why I'm not entirely mad that we're losing, right? But we are missing a lot of shots. Not hitting anything, and a lot of our looks are wide open. Bow bowls in the game. We're big now. We went big. Definitely a foul. Yeah, still no book, Mace, because they're probably going to, I mean, he's got five fouls. They're trying to keep him from fouling out. But if you don't make a run, Mr. Nash, Nash, uh, I don't know what this is. What did Azu BK do? Is there playing time? He's a two-way. It's my answer for you. Be able to put the ball on the floor. He's Actually, not a regular rotation player for Frank, okay. so Frank's not going to play him. Which makes it even more impressive, Mike, because I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, the, you go back to I'm, I'm six nine. Don't call me six foot eight. If you, oh, you want, you, you want to make sure that we maximize every inch. Make sure you mention that I'm six foot nine. I'm not six foot eight. We will, we will not <laughs> shortchange you. Just Chet needs a meal. Seven one, but yeah, bro, bro cooking us right now. Beal pulls up mid range off the top of the backboard. No good. Rebound. OKC. Okay, Ooh, nice strip from Gordon. Gordon be getting so many steals, dude. Beal kicks it to Gordon. Gordon down to Nurk, but badly passed out of bounds. The Suns are back in town. The Suns are back in town. knows how to use that body. That time, as you mentioned, that pass was just a little bit too far from it. He had a little bit too much paste on it. See if the Thunder can maintain this distance, maybe even stretch it out a little bit further. Joe into the corner. Slot. Oh, that hurt Beal's finger. Yep, saw that. Oh, damn. Here's another thing. Here's another thing that I can add right now to people. There's really only a few players on this team who can gripe and say that, that you can gripe and say they, they get more playing time because they're paid more. And it's Nurk and Grayson because they came in on the trade. Or maybe Royce O'Neal. But the majority of people on this team are on minimum contracts. 
So yeah. ain't nobody getting paid that much more than the next person. So there's no reason why the rotation should be just like solid set by Frank like this. Back to Phoenix. Well, you're right, Michael. These next few minutes, see which way this game goes. Well, it just it just kind of sets the tone for the quarter. Phoenix is obviously trying to overcome a deficit in Thunder, trying to maintain it. Two opposing mm. wheels. Beal, guarded by Case and Wallace. Thunder defense has kicks it to Royce. Nurk's got it. Top of the key. And I bet Eric Royce to not Beal. In no more, though. Seven seconds. Kicks it to Royce. Top of the key. Three. Brick. Ugh. Apparently, we need to play an altitude to shoot better. Jalen Williams whips it to Isaiah Cuppa Joe. No good. Nurk saves the rebound. Nurk Daddy posting up from behind half court. Wielski, Wielski off the drib, snatch back, loses it, it gets it back. Beal doubled behind the back, kicks it to Gore Brick. Chet gets the rebound. Two dollar dono from because you took my VIP away. Frank isn't the answer. <laughs> Good night. Love you guys. Be calm. See clear. Appreciate, Appreciate you. Be calm. Right when Booker and KD about to check back in. Man. But it's J Dub getting the deuce in transition. As the Thunder have been in attack mode throughout the night, making plays at the rim. This team is so bipolar, bro. Ain't that the freaking truth? Hold on, beat. Got one coming your way. Baby boy toy Roy. Roy is at the game the right Basketball now. Basketball Association may not Ooh, really? be transmitted, mm -hmm. distributed or used in any form. Oh yeah, we talked about that. Consent of the NBA. You might want to help Jacob out, but let's go ahead. Let's roll the tape. What if we saw Roy on the court? You know what I'm saying? That'd be dope. What if he Roy, if you're listening, streak. <laughs> <laughs> the Suns need a boost of energy, and that could be it. If not you, have your boy do it. I know you're there with them. I know you're there with some friends. If you don't streak, we don't believe you're really at the game. What we're saying. Oh man, how long is this break from action going to be if they're doing all this? D Clan uh, says needed Beal for assists, probably sold. Damn, man. Yeah, I haven't even looked at my picks because my picks are hot trash. Hot trash. Hot trash. Yeah. You make, you've been hot trash when you make picks without me, dog. I know, and I actually took my sweet time. I, I took like almost an hour to make these picks, and nothing has gone the way I thought it would. Oh, they're playing swag surfing. Ugh. Look, C says child molester Giddy outscoring book. LOL. Um, child molester is wild. Well, it's also potentially accurate. Allegedly. <laughs> what do you want? You don't have nowhere to lay? Come here. Not you. Season. Tom Why is the Raptors in oh. defensive, defensive and offensive efficiency all season? Why are all Those the mascots here? Can keep you in a good spot. Yeah, that's a good you question. Know, they must be having a convention there, or like something. The Thunder have done. I got a good trivia question for you. The Western Conference is so deep, it's so stacked up. There's going to be some good teams that are going to miss the playoffs. I'm going to make it easy on you. You just got to take a guess. What do you think the most wins in a season is for a team to miss Book. the playoffs? Gets it to Beal. Beal downhill. Floater. Going to the line even though he missed. 
And I'll give you another hint. It's Metro. That's wild. Three years. My wife is three years younger than me, too, actually. Mm. <laughs> that's so. I mean, three years isn't that much. Also, really also in Australia, the legal age is like 16. That's tough, man. Also, where he's the from. reports are that she didn't tell him the truth. But regardless, well, if that's the case, you know. Take a look when we get back. Apparently, her parents knew about it. Didn't he take her to prom, though? I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's crazy. Either way, bro wasn't charged yet. Now, someone who we can call that is apparently P. Diddy. Yeah, apparently calling, we can. They're, they're calling. Apparently Josh we can Giddy, call P. Diddy all that. They're calling Josh Giddy. Josh Diddy. <laughs> or Josh Giggity. Wayne Host is innocent. Shut your mouth. <laughs> What you mean, Rob? Finally. Finally, you're on the top camera. Where you belong. Oh, okay. Well, you know, that's how it should be, right? Because you're the face and I'm the heel. I don't know. Recently, I've been the heel, bro. People have been hating me. Mm. Heel turn, Sundo? Might be a heel turn in here. Rob, by the way, Rompy Rompsky, Rompsky. If I'm not having a party for WrestleMania, we need to stream WrestleMania if I don't have a party. Okay? Because, you know, unlike you two losers, like you and Gabe, I have a life outside of podcasting. Mm, is that this Sunday? <laughs> no, WrestleMania is next Sunday. Mm. So my buddy's supposed to have a party, but I don't know if we're still doing it or not. I mean, Gable said Gable watch, said he'd watch it. We might do a member stream, yeah, yeah and, we'll and I'll stream it in Discord. We can watch it together. And it leads to the thunder and the offense on the other end. And you love it. That'd be that'd be dope. only WrestleMania Discord stream, bro. I mean, we could even open it up to everybody. And get out in transition and cash in those chips on the other. Possibly, but members only might be the best. Of that fantastic block by J Dub. Now there's been a level of commitment on both. Wayne Host is you trash. What? All the different scores. Oh, he's Max. We're talking about Giddy. And, and hey, no one here is praising Carmelo neither. Don't you dare. All right. And the officials are still giving it a look. And I was defending your boy. What are we talking about here? Still with the headset on. Heel Sunda. You took a couple of looks at it going into the break and through the break. And I mean, they're calling on Wallace. This is light. Here's the, here's the foul right there. I, I'm not seeing it. I'm just not seeing a foul. You know, I'm going to go ahead and you know, and then I said Diddy was the best, right? Diddy did it. Hey, did you see that uh, that Netflix uh, special going to come out called Diddy Do It? I think I, yeah, I, think I, I talked mean, about this last stream, bro. That's quick. Did he do it? Did he? Did he do it? I get it? Oh, so funny, dude. Mm. Erase the VOD before Tori sees, sees what? What are we reviewing here? They're saying that there wasn't a foul on Beal. Who's challenging? Uh, I think uh, Thunder's challenging. Katie going back to OKC watch. No, Katie's biding his time until Seattle gets a franchise and then he's going there. I promise you, that's what he's doing. He's already talked about it. Like he wants to if a if a franchise goes to Seattle, he wants to play for the Supersonics because that's just something he wants to do. So well, no, you're not getting a foul. You ain't getting no pepperoni. Get out of here. Circle that we're in the game, they will still be charged their timeout. I concur. Yeah. I, I think that's, I, I think, terrific. I mean, good defense, good offensive player, Bradley Beal. Uh, no free throws, jump ball, center court. 
Mark Dangle, two for two in his challenges. It'll be a jump ball. No imminent possession. Why starters still in? I don't know, because Frank just thinks that we're going to magically come back and won't play anybody off the bench and won't give anybody else any minutes. And if we're up 30 or down 30, they're still playing 40 minutes. Well, when it was Holmgren and Nurkic in the opening tip, Phoenix won it. See what happens here. Stop faster. Nurk wins the tip, but they chase it down wow, and out that is fight so us shameful. for it. That is crazy. Watch that go in. Brick. Thank God. Grayson kicks it up to Book. Thought about a transition three. Durant gets it and takes it in and out. Man, it wanted to drop. It really did. This man, Frank Vogel, is... I just... I know Romp usually talks us off the ledge here, but I didn't know if, what Romp really thinks about Frank Vogel and his decision not to play anybody outside of his rotation. Like, not playing an IT to see what he's got or anybody else. Booker for three. Fouled on the shot. Let's go ahead. Oh! Nurk just did the goddamn splits! Tell me he's okay. Looks like he's fired. Woo, scared the shit out of me. I don't want that big Bosnian groin to be hurt, you know? Just call in the subs, bro. This was not our game. This game was not. Yeah, it's one of those deals where you're like, hey, man, maybe you play the bench so nobody gets hurt. Now after that free throw's got 13. Via Paycom Center, Thunder. For the next Thunder home game, Tuesday, April 9th at 7 p.m. Well, the Thunder take yeah, the they they earn this win. Just give them the win. The let's be done with it. Let's keep our let's keep Michael getting Hawk, our Not just board. those two. Vogel got the typical stubbornness of every coach. He's going to play his guys. Well, that's why you got to get a young coach, bro. Get a young coach next time. With a big deficit like that. I turned on, I, I turn on him. I turned on Frank Vogel. Remember at the beginning, I was like, man, I think this will be a fine hire, a vet, maybe. Uh, no, wrong. So he raised that everything that we said during the offseason. Corner three for Casey Wallace. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Open. I mean, bro, they were trying. They were. They, they just couldn't cover that many passes. Book loses it over to Durant. Durant loses it. I'm just tired of seeing this. Take Get out the out. starters. Good pump fake. Good pass to Durant. Twenty. All that to cut it to 24, bro. All that for 24. I wore my baseball shirt for this. Mm. Chet, Mitty, good. That's a smart basketball. The zone defense gets somebody to the middle of the floor, but it's got to be somebody that can make that middle pass or that middle shot. Beal to book, book three, but there was a screen foul on Nurk, so take the three off of the board. Oh, Frankie. Put in the backups. I think they're coming in. There was nobody better in the NBA at navigating screens, navigating big men, navigating contact. IT is in. Someone said IT is in. Good. IT's last game, and you're going to sub him in. There it is. All right, give me hope. By Nurkic. And you can see why Frank Vogel is somewhat throwing in the towel. Look, okay. This is not going to change. Look how small IT is. Chet over to Dort. Dort baseline. Kicks it over to Isaiah Joe. That's a foul on Okogi for Shogi. Jumped on his back, bro. So it comes with... About 721 left to go in the fourth quarter. Rick says, dude, there'll be one game in the Dalton, yeah, I would think yes. Well, they're playing a good start to this fourth quarter, not allowing Phoenix to get any ideas of a comeback. What did you say, bro? As Frank Vogel's gone deep into his bench. Okay, with the rebound. Good. Off to the races. Kicks it to Bull Bull. Deep free throw line. Do something, Bull. Don't... Big thick boy Roddy over to Isaiah Thomas. IT with my number. Yeah, bro. I'm telling you. 
Bull Bull in the corner, the kicks it right back to bro. IT. Four seconds. IT to the rack. Hook shot is blocked <laughs> by Chet. I mean, <laughs> he had to do something, you know? I mean, Chet floater is good. <laughs> <laughs> IT over to Roddy. Roddy, Euro over to Bull. Why aren't you shooting that Bull? Kicks it to Nas. Nas, corner three is good. Okogi guarding Jalen Williams. Snatch back over to Joe. Misses. That's the type of threes they were hitting all, all early the in the game. The the IT the to the rack. Get hey, off his dick. Oh, wow. Let's Man, go. Nestor, you don't have it? Still a little bit of skill in that body. Time out of the floor. Tick under. Six minutes left to go. We somebody was saying it already got another ten day. I didn't know if that was true or not. Let's Google it and find out. But it's I'm like, sure it's what is there. it? What does it matter? I mean, it's Saturdays is last time, but hmm. no, March twentieth says Angel. Yes, yeah, uh, three hours ago, Suns expected to sign IT to another 10-day, so it's not okay. for sure, but expected what they're saying. Okay. So, yes, three hours ago, news came out, expected. Hmm. So... Frank makes this Frank expecting not to play IT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Pretty much. Chief and says the Blazers just lost by 60. Well, people are saying Whoa. they announced it. So there you go. If they announce it, okay. boom, IT back for another 10 days. So hopefully, you know. That you gotta be proud of. Frank can give him at least two minutes a game in that in that second two way, right? <laughs> a 10 day. And, and the way yeah. that this team has collectively come together. And really took it, taking it to the Phoenix Suns. Look at, look at Bismack over there. With everybody who's played, has should be gosh, on our team. should be in our team, bro. Kitty to Wallace. Step back from Wallace. Ooh, over mobile. That's what they were doing to us all game. All right, IT, do something, bro. Do something, bro. The offense and the defense. Gets it to Nas. Back to Bull Bull. Yeah, 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 bull to Roddy. Roddy. Roddy to IT. IT for mm. I3. Mm. I3. Bitch! But no, let's never play him, Frank. Let's, let's never play, never play him, him Frank. You, you dumb bitch. Because he can't hit Frank. You dumb ball bitch. I hope he drops 20 in these last five Indiana minutes. It's not going to be possible. But that'd be great. Mascala. At least. At least. For three. No give it to good. him again. Give it to him again, Nas. Don't be a ball hog. Give it to him Nas, again. Give it, give to, him it again. to IT. Give it to, him. give it to him again. Yeah, give it to him. Back to Nas. Nas pump Back fake. to him. Nas kicks it out to Okogles for Throgles. Hits it. Okay. Let's get him warmed up for next game. The Thunder just want to... Williams handoff to Kaysen, back to Williams. Top of the key. Another three for OKC. IT over to Ish. I know, bro. Okogi pump fake. Okogi throws it a Wogi. That's why you get the ball to IT, Okogi. <laughs> Jason Wallace back to Giddy. Giggity, giggity. Passes it to Mascala for three. No good. Tipped out. Giggity, giggity. Gets it back. Mascala screen, drives, kicks it. Williams for three. No good. Thick boy Roddy with the board. Pushes it up to IT. IT. IT working on big ass Mascala draws a foul. On Isaiah Thomas, but for Giddy to do what he's done, 
the 21 points, 9 out of 14, kind of set the tone early on offensively. And what he did in the second By the way, dude, this new future CD this, is so good. That's really his best brand of basketball. It's just from a beat it's perspective. Size, folks. Just you know, IT. Quick dribble, kicks it out to Nas for three brick. Nice Ooh, rebound, rebound from rebound. Thickum's Rod. Thickum's Rod! Damn it! Gotta make that, Big Daddy. Mascala kicks it back to Giggity. Josh Diddy, spin move. That's crazy. Beautiful block, but they're gonna call that a... Oh. Gonna call that a... Gold she says, did you just say CD, you old head? Yeah, he sure did. CD? Did I say CD? Oh my God, that's wild. Bro, that new future, uh, uh, what was it called? What was that? Um, eight track. <laughs> that new uh, future, uh, what's this thing's called? Cassette tape. Well, I was, but what goes back even further? What were those disc records? Record. Is a record? Yeah. A new future record. It's a hell of a record. Roddy to the Racky. Woo! Good finish, Roddy. Offensively and defensively, you can really single out a ton of different guys. Thunder says, "Worst game, good game, new worst game." Yeah, we could really just. Take a uh, page out of That's a Good Sports book, where he used to have the the worst game ever for the Broncos, and then every time they'd be, be like, like the new new worst game ever, the new 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 worst game ever. <laughs> every time they have a bad game, this was just a bad. Like everybody at the same time I mean, the couldn't same thing, shoot. Worst game ever. You know, you're not gonna win any games like that. Now you combine that with the thunder, everybody hitting, even with hands in the face, it's over. You know? I don't know why I want to know that East Metro. Bull Bull pump fake. Bull Bull kicks it back to IT, top of the key. Little snatch back. They're doubling IT. Gets it to Nas. Nas turn around, fade away. Wowie! But don't play him, Frank. Don't you dare play him. You bald bitch. Trying to avoid that eighth spot that keeps you in that playing game. And the Thunder will get their 51st victory of the season. Here comes Case and Wallace. Floater, no good. Busy in the game. Roddy with the board pushes it up to IT. IT crossover, kicks it back to Roddy. Brick. Well, oh, Nas almost gets the rebound. Here comes. Wiggins takes the screen from Busy, kicks it down to Busy. Busy passes out to Wallace, over to Mascala in the corner, back to Wallace, over to Wiggins. Wiggins, little dribble, dribble, little snatch back, little brick. Open three for Wiggins, drills it. Oh man, who do we play next? We play on a Monday, I believe. I mean, it's nobody easy. Was it gonna be the Cle the Cavaliers or something like that? Okay, it ain't gonna be anybody easy. Okogi throwing up some some bull jive, but he got fouled. We got New Orleans on Monday, bro. I'm ready for the final. Zion won't lob. They're gonna make you earn it, Michael, even though it's the final one. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Coast, it makes the Zion dunk. A lot easier when you have a Zion pass. Splash. To finish out a home stand. Zion splash. Say, Mere mortals can't guard me. You mentioned the Thunder's remaining schedule, and, and it's not easy. <laughs> Run into the basket. The Zion won't lob. What if he really <laughs> screamed that, bro? <laughs> Sixth toughest schedule remaining. Zion splash. Tonight with Phoenix. And it's going to be a tough road trip. Anytime you go east, there's nothing easy about it. The Knicks have been playing great defense. Crossover for Wiggins. Ooh, shit gets beat be 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 beautifully. Yeah, that's going to go the other Off way. of the thunder. TJ Goat says, can you do the Joker, the Joker voice? 
I mean, maybe, maybe, a, maybe we gotta save it for the next time we play it. We'll play them next. It'll, it'll get old. Thing. Thomas to little, little Euros and dude. And we ain't playing little. Corner three, turnaround fadeaway midi, Euro drive, and we ain't playing Nas. F you, Frank. East Metro Boomin wants some mo. A victory without Shea Gilgis Alexander. A collective effort. CJ Lucas says Sundos Trump versus Gabe's Jokic. <laughs> what an L, baby. 103. What an L. 128. Suns lose. Yep. Suns yep. lose. This was a good L. This was a big L. Might be the worst of the season. Some people say that. I don't say that. Chet smiling. Chet got a nice little rest. Good for him. Don't want to tire Chet out. Giddy. You know, he's got his ankle monitor on while he hoops. That's pretty... That's pretty cool, right? Hopefully, honest to God, I really hope we get uh, a Frank Vogel post-game press conference. That's all I want. I don't care who else they interview. Just let me hear from Frank. And please grill this man. I want to know, Frank, Thad just played his dick and balls off for you a couple games or a couple nights ago. What was the thought process between not playing him at all? That's all I want to know. Um, but look, I'm... I. I'm not up. Uh, there's a difference between being mad and being sad. I'm not mad about this game. I'm sad that we didn't play well, but I'm not mad because, you know, this was just one of those games. You, we couldn't make any shots even when we were open we were bricking yeah they could like, hit I'm, every I'm, shot I'm, even when they I'm were legit. heavily guarded I, I know we talk bad about frank but i'm i'm kind of with you on this one the amount of shots that we missed this game was absolutely what contributed to this one especially when, especially when i got back you know like i said i was watching occasionally you know we kept up with him we looked pretty decent but that third quarter where nobody could hit a shot that's kind of what did it. And then you let them take over right before the halftime. Right. But that third quarter was brutal. I'm looking it up. We got scored 31 to 21. And then in the second quarter, you got scored 36 to 27. And that's all she wrote right there. And they beat us every quarter. They outscored us every quarter. There was like never a moment where the Suns looked like they were going to win. The Suns came out and played tough and then the shots just would not fall for us and could not miss for them. I mean, three or four times, I'm like, wow. I'm like, wow, that's a big shot. You know? Wow. Shit. Wow, that's a big shot. Exactly. And hands in the face. So it's not like we weren't trying. We were trying. So I was saying in a seven-game series... That's that would happen to us once or twice, hopefully just once if we played the Thunder. They're gonna have a game like that at home in the playoffs if they play us. And they're at the top and we're at the bottom, so there is a possibility that we match up against them. That is bad news for Phoenix. Shoot. Gotta get past the playing first though. Yeah. Um so Durant ends with 26. That's not bad. Booker just 14, four for nine. Got into foul trouble, five re or five assists. Grayson, one for nine from three. What did we shoot total from three compared to what did they shoot total from three? We shot 31%, 13 for 41. They shot 53%, 16 of 30. And they just got it. off to a hot start, bro. And then there was no defense on Josh Giddy. They just were like, hey, Giddy, 
you're a meme. We'll just let you shoot open shots and. And here's the deal. Here's the deal. We shot just as many shots as they did. We shot more threes than they did, um, and we shot more free throws than they did. So, so it really there's no excuse in you know not getting the shots. Uh, they had four less turnovers than we did. We had 14. They had 10. So they gave the ball up almost just as much as we did. Right? There's just it really comes down to not being able to knock your shots down. Kevin Durant, 10 of 17. Uh, Beal, 6 of 13. Grayson Allen, 1 of 9 from the three-point stripe. That is brutal. Eric Gordon, 1 of 8 from the three-point stripe. That's brutal. O'Neal, 1 of 3. Booker, 0 of 2. Do you kind of get what I'm saying here? Like, that's kind of your difference there. If you want to say what's the major difference right there. Rebounds. Let's see. Did we get out rebounded? No, they we out we out rebounded them by one. And we had more offensive rebounds than they did, Gabe. So we had plenty of second we chance just, points too. So we just couldn't, we just, just couldn't shoot, hit. Could, could, man, couldn't couldn't keep up anything. with their firepower, bro. You know, Spurs for Gary says maybe they're just better. Mm, oh no. Listen, no, let's make that reference. But yes, maybe yeah, they're just better. It, it wasn't just like one guy couldn't hit dude no one on the suns like they all collectively had a terrible shooting night well so i mean i mean that's this team is and, and i hate to say this this team is live by the three die by the three we have a bunch of mid-range shooters who can't who have to be hot from three i mean so it just depends like durant it's durant but I don't think Booker's a sniper from three. He's definitely a mid-range specialist. Beal's definitely a mid-range specialist. Bruley says IT should be put over Gordon. Uh, I wouldn't mind Gordon sacrificing a few minutes here and there. To I don't IT. know. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real after seeing yeah, just a few. But after seeing IT tonight during the backups, I wasn't like completely sold. There were some things that were cool, but I wasn't like completely sold. I mean, he bullied his way in for a layup. The one that he got blocked on, t- you know, be nice about it, right? Give him a break because there was like three seconds on the shot clock and he yeah, had to make something points. happen. That's crazy. What happened? They need to bench Beal for goodness sake. It's so simple. I mean, maybe they do, but can't Beal went three for five from three with a busted finger, bro. He went six for 13. He had 15 points. Like, he had a block, a steal, a couple assists. Two I think he needs to have Beal come off the bench. He, I, I suggested that in a video with Gary early in the season, and everybody acted like I was on methamphetamines, man. John Kettle says, so why did we keep Kevin Young? That's a great question. I mean, we got, from a coaching perspective, the offense was good because we got a lot of open shots. We had 59 points at halftime, almost a 60 point half. And then we just tried to shoot ourselves back in it and couldn't. That is something where I think, well, Kevin can't, can't force their shots to go in. They can only draw up plays that get open shots, which they did. And even Grayson himself was was whiffing and airballing and yeah, shit. Yeah, one of nine. Him and Gordon combined for two of seventeen from the stripe. Yeah, not a good day, you know. Rick says Allen's not a starter. We have forwards. I would love Allen. We have off no the bench, forwards, and I would like Royce O'Neal to, to actually. Rick, we have forwards. They just don't get. They just don't play. Because, bro, when you have a starting lineup of Beal, Grayson, Book, that's that's a small three guard lineup, and I don't like it. And Grayson's we have, shooting off the bench would just hit. Says different. We don't. I mean, you don't consider Roddy a Ford or Nas a Ford. We have Thad Young. Nas could play that forward position that you're asking for. Nas like they just, they just and don't play, man. Nas and. Royce, you don't need more than two, do you? Nas and Royce, but no, Nas right. gets no U- minutes. Eubanks is technically a forward, even though he's a backup five. You know, they play him at five. He's just all too small. I mean, it's a new NBA. I mean, they seem to be doing okay. 
How did I know we were going to oh, We lose do. I mean, we have Ford, so. When they said that, like, did you feel like what you were seeing was, I've asked this a couple of times to the chat, and so now that you guys have seen the whole game and I can ask Sundo, do you feel like we lost because they sat Shea Gilgis and we thought, hey, it'll be easy? And then Oh, my gosh, don't bring that back. Don't I'm bring asking. That. Don't bring I, I'm not saying that it is. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. But it's always possible, right? Anything's possible. I just don't know. I know that's Bill gave us a little look ski inside their brains when he said, hey, we thought it was going to be easy without Wimby, right? Right. So, uh, so I'm not going to say they didn't say that, but still, it's like, once again, you, you, you got beat by a team without their star player. This time, this is a good team, not a bad team. And you lost by just as much. But not just as much. You lost by way more, but this time, but so still, you lost in the same embarrassing fashion. So I'm trying to say, what are we doing uh, uh, standings wise now? Back to eight. Back to eighth seed. Well, we're still there, but yeah, eight and a half. We're two games behind the sixth seed. Yeah, bro. And we got nine more games to make it up, and we got to basically play lights out the rest of the game or we're not getting there. And with the schedule coming up, I mean, psh. Pelicans, Cavs, Wolves, Pelicans, Clippers, Clippers, Kings, Wolves. <laughs> we got to go on a straight heater, bro. We got to yeah, go and on then a we, and then like, and like I mentioned, the Mavs and the teams in between, they don't have nearly as tough a schedule as we do. Pels, and what is that? I'm going to the Pel schedule Sunday. right now. Play them on Monday, but the Pelican schedule because they're they're ahead of us too. They got Boston, Phoenix, Orlando, San Antonio, Phoenix, Portland, Sacramento, Golden State, LA. So it's not like their schedule's like super easy. We did beat them the last time we played them, but here's the schedule that I'm concerned with. Right, Rob was probably right, but like, look at this. It's this one right here. It's the Mavericks. They're playing Sacramento right now, but then they have Houston, Golden State, Atlanta, Golden State, Houston, Charlotte, Miami, Detroit, and OKC. So there's a lot more easier games in their last few games of the schedule than us, for sure. The Kings, we got to play again, and that's another team we're competing with, too. And the Kings' last games are... Utah, L.A., New York, Boston, Brooklyn, OKC, New Orleans, us, Portland. So literally everybody that we're competing with to get into that sixth seed have a pretty decent record. You know, yeah, I know Houston's playing well, Romp. I know that, too. Like, they have been playing well. Very so that's why well. Be, that's why I don't want to be like, oh, my gosh, your schedule's so easy because I give I'm going to give Houston the credit. But still, it's like. They have some games in which you're like, they're expected to win those and then a few games where they are going to be tough for the rest of these teams. But for us, every game is tough. Every single one moving forward. Which honestly might be better for us because we always play better against better teams. I don't know. And I thought we'd play better against this team and we most certainly we did, not. did. Dude, trust me. We did like the first the first quarter, the first half, it was only nine points of separation. We were going hard, but eventually, I saw I the, saw. eventually I saw. the missed threes and the tough hit threes from them, eventually it just broke our spirit. And yeah, we, we I, I, I look, I can see that. I can see that. And that's why I'm not like, and that's one reason why they didn't come I'm out not, with that attitude. Like, let's just have right. And that's time. another, and that's one reason why I'm not like, Oh my gosh, we lost this game and it's so bad. Because yes, they did outplay you and they outshot you and you couldn't hit a shot to save your life. So th there's always that, but you know, we got but a I'm, lot of. But really, but really, what I'm mad at is the entire season, if we're being, which is a whole another story in itself. Right, this whole season has been such a, such a roller coaster, bipolar, up and down season. Bro, last four games, up, down, up, down, like, big time. Seriously, 
You beat the Spurs by a lot. Beat the brakes off the Spurs. And lose to them without Wemby. Wemby. Beat the Nuggets. You beat the Nuggets. You're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and then you lose to Get your OKC. backs broken by OKC <laughs> with no Shea. Like, so that means we're going to win on Monday. Yeah, we're going to be 500 for the rest of the season. Trending right down the middle, like you said. Or like we said on the Bleach Report, like, hey, we've Just been treading nine water. And eight. We were nine and eight since the all-star break. And right now it's the same tone here. Mm. Code says preach Sondo. Okay. So literally he's been, we back. It's so over. We back. It's so over. I don't think there's been a whole lot of we back. Oh, you mean like this is schedule, oh, right? Oh, <laughs> after that nuggets game, it was, we're so back. No, who said that? You? Oh, just Twitter. Just Suns fans in general. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, let them talk. But here on Suns Valley Podcast, we know better after sticking our necks out yeah. more than one time. We know better, okay? Uh, B. Will says, OKC had 70 points, first half points, and 101 after three. 101 points in three quarters. Yeah, they were just all on fire, man. Donkey Ball says Ben should come in end of first, beginning of second, and end of third, beginning of fourth. Guys have no clue when they're going to play. That stuff matters. I mean, it's it's true. You know, this, this is why this is why I sorry. Go ahead. Well, just saying it's over, bro, till next season. But go ahead. What were you going to say? No, I was just saying, like, I just feel like (sighs) nothing. I just wish we had a more detailed coach. I mean, I wish we had Nick Nurse. I don't know how anyone will guard us respectfully, Code says. It was those types of statements that. We should have known some shit like this was going to happen. When they started saying things like, I'm going to be mad if any team takes us past six games. I'm going to be mad. Oh, well, you're about to be big mad. Okay? I'm going to be mad when we make the play in and now I have to. God, who said that? Book. Who said that? Of course. Book. He said, I'm going to be mad if any team. T- what was the quote? Does anybody know the actual quote? I don't remember the quote, but I'm not going to say. I'm going to be it. mad if anyone takes us, if we go seven with anyone or six with the, with anyone or five. It was basically like saying, I'll be mad if any of these series go long. Like, it you should be. It's basically all. saying it should be a cakewalk. You honestly trust this team in the play in? No, Rick, I don't. Hell to the no. And, and, and I'm, and, you know, and nah, I'm saying nah, that nah. in honesty, bro. I am like not as a hater, just in all honesty. I, mm, mm. Okay, here's here's an actual factual reason why you can't trust this team in the play in, because you don't know which team you're gonna get night to night. You don't. How could you trust something? That's like saying. Hey, you just, I'm gonna flip this coin. Ahead. Do you trust that it's going to be heads? I don't know. It's 50 50 shot. That's the best you get with the Suns, right? Do you wonder why I don't trust this team? Why? What can you hang your hat on about this team? Like when you think Phoenix <laughs> Suns basketball, what do you think of? Like right now, not like in all time in the whole history of the franchise. Like when you think Phoenix Suns basketball this year, what what do you think about the Vince McMahon cut it off meme? <laughs> do, 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 do. Mm-mm. Like, Mm-mm. like, incons- I mean, inconsistency can't be a thing. I'm talking about like, like when you think basketball, like they do this well. <laughs> no, 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 he's saying they do inconsistency well. I know, and I'm yeah, saying that's... turnovers, but I'm saying, but 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 what I'm saying is each team has an identity, right? Like. You've been talking about this. You like the Celtics. They shoot the most threes in the league, and they shoot them really well. You know what the Celtics are, right? What does what do the Suns do well, and what 
are they known? Like, what are their what is their offense all offensive identity? Their identity as a team. Nothing. Big Wheel says shooters. I I agree. So what I think they do. What ISO. they do better than everyone. Yeah, they they ISO and they hit mid range. They hit tough shots, and they share the ball. They're not selfish for the most part. Most of the time. Um. I mean, we're, we're what, like 11 games over 500? It's not like we lose all of our games. Like, we're a winning team. It's not all bad. Here's something that I'm reading. Uh, Davery, 1222. Suns are a joke. They will not get past the first round even if they make it. That's not really what I'm trying to read here. The second part. The biggest mistake they made was trading for KD. Yes, he's a great player, but they gave away youth that might have been great. Up and down, up and down. Beat the Nuggets, we're the best. Lose to OKC, and we're, we should have done the trade. It's like, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to do that anymore. <laughs> yeah. I, I knew I could get that. you on that. I was trying to get you, trying to get no. you, and you just said, no, sir. Nope. Because I saw what I needed to see versus the Nuggets, which was mm. when this team really to, – and tonight. When we take a game really seriously, we can beat the Nuggets, or we could take a game really seriously but not be able to shoot well and lose to one of the best teams in the league. I'm fine with both see, of those things. We're going to see what those boys are doing in 2025. Yeah, we better. Or is it tw- 2026? We're going to see what the boys are doing in 2026. <laughs> Slayers, no Vogel yet. Nobody has shown their face for the press conference yet. I'll have it up if they do. We're, we're waiting on it here. Um, I just want different lineups, man. I want Bull Bull out there. I don't agree with, like, it's bad enough he only gives Bull Bull 10 minutes per game. I already want more than that. But to give him, like, I guess he had more tonight, but he only played more because there was, you know, there was mop-up time. Uh-oh, oh, here oh. he is! Look at his stupid yeah. ass. Like I said, they just we didn't shoot. Bad. My thing about this whole game is we didn't shoot well. They did mm-hmm. in this right. So there's no excuse you can give us whatever. I, that's just what I saw that you got out played and outshot that way. That's it. But here's here's a question I have for you, Gabe. That um, I was thinking about at work yesterday, and I was really, really thinking about this. And it was you thinking about burner. Yeah, sure. I'm thinking about burner. Okay, um, go on. So, like, he, he mentioned something. He said, we haven't figured out the blueprint to beat these guys yet, right? He said that, you know, and, and that that kind of, and that definitely hit home with me because we have now played the Denver Nuggets tough twice this year, maybe even three times. I know we, we've won two. I don't know how many, like, how many, have we, did we even swept. up? We swept. We they didn't swept them. us. The Three Nuggets? Nothing. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about OKC. No, 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 uh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, no. we the at Nuggets. least split. We at least split with them the Nuggets. Guys. Yeah, we lost the first one. Let me look again. Lost the first one. Won in overtime. W no we we beat them three out of four this year. Wow. I think. Let me look at let me double check again. Wow. Yeah, w, okay. Okay, w. so Suns won three. Three to one. L. Two to one. Two to one. Three to one. Maybe it's just two to one. Either way, okay. we, we we beat them two to one, right? And so feels fraudulent. Go on. 
it doesn't. Well, this is what I'm going to ask. What if during the offseason it was we're not going to get embarrassed by the Nuggets? Well, the only team we have to worry about is the Nuggets. Like, what if that was the focus? Like, yeah, we did that after we lost to the Bucks. We tried to gear a team around how to beat the Bucks. We went and got McGee to, you know, be another big man. That's my, and that's my point. So instead of focusing on what you do best, you're always reacting. And maybe we had the blueprint to beat the Nuggets, but now we don't have the blueprint or the team to beat anybody else. That's a theory that I have. What do you think about that? Do you think that's possible? Well, theoretically, you should be able to beat anybody if you're built to beat the Nuggets. But, yeah, I guess, you know, sometimes it don't really work that way, right? You know? Right. That's um, my point I'm trying to make. So, what? So, this, so it's like... You should be able to beat what, most you know, teams, at least. Ex- so, that's why you know I mean? asked, and that's all why I asked, what does this team do? Like, what did, can you hang your hat on for this team? Like, when you think Suns, what do you think? Like... Shooters. What is this team? What is the identity of this team? I don't even think shooters, bro. Shooters, 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 shooters rocking everywhere. I don't even think shooters. Dude, come on. What are you talking about? Stay hitting. Tonight they weren't hitting. That's going to happen. But they have shooters on shooters on shooters. Like GTA. I'll give you Durant. I'll give you Durant. I'll give you Grayson. Gordon hasn't really been hitting. Devin Booker, how fucking dare you? Okay. Devin Booker. Okay. When you say shooters, what do you think? What are you saying? I'm talking shot makers? shooters. Shut up. Just stop. Shot makers? Or, stop. No, no, no. I need to know. No, no. Listen, no, I'm being serious. I'm not being a troll. Like it, okay. three point shooters or just shot makers? Book might not be shooting great from three th- right now, but just. Let's take a look here, because that's the only distinction you're really trying to draw here. That, that's all I want to know. No, no, seriously, that's what I'm, I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to figure all out. Right. Like, for like the season, shooters, what do you mean? For the season, he's shooting thirty six and a half percent, which is close to good. You know, I mean, thirty seven, thirty eight is where, likely where you'd like to be. But also, his threes are tougher. He doesn't take just catch and shoot Grace and Allen threes. He takes pull up off the dribble he's, threes. Well, he's also and, he's also this saying? season having the ball in his hand more this season. He's also not. shooting better from three this season than his career average. So he's above mm, average nice. for himself. So and then in the mid range, the dude is still an assassin. So you got mm. three. Great shooters right that right there. Thanks. You got Royce O'Neal, who's a good shooter. Okay. Let's see what Royce is shooting this season from three. 37.3% from three this season. Okay. You got you got Gordon Thickums himself. <clears throat> He's shooting 39% from three. So we're at five shooters now. Okay. Five shooters. Um, You got Bull Bull. You got Bull Bull, Bull, Bull baby baby. I'll give you that. Who's shooting 42% from three. Shout out to Bull Bull Ski Bull Ski. You know, you know I love me some Bull Bull. I like that. Okay. So I'm saying you got shooters rocking everywhere. And you don't even have Damian Lee back. Mm. You got Isaiah Thomas who shoots the three as well as anybody who isn't getting the play. Don't even, don't even talk to him. Okay. Don't even, don't even talk to list. him. Don't even talk about him. Just you leave know what him I mean? off the list. You got shooters. You're six deep from shooting three. And three of them, Beal, how about Beal? We didn't even mention Beal. Beal went three for five tonight. Beal shooting 37.6% from three this year. Okay, but. And 50% from the field. So, once again. I'm Seven gonna, shooters need, deep. Need, okay, hold on, hold on. So, I need to specify. So, are you saying we have shooters or do we have Shot makers, or should I say, shot uh, don't creators. move the goal post. I'm not moving the goal post. I okay. want to know, okay, what do we hang our hat on? That's all I'm saying. Your shot makers, first fan are, Gary seems to agree with me. 
Yeah, he's Sunda also was right. racist against gotta, whites. Oh, stop it. Go on. The Sunda was right. You got a bunch of mid-range shooters, uh, no elite three-point shooters, and no elite get-to-the-rim players. Beal I don't know. Gets, I feel like well, Beal gets actually, to the no, rim. I, I feel like Booker isn't an elite. He he doesn't get to the rim like he used to anymore. He does a lot of he does a lot of. He is he came the, back the early from an now. ankle. I think he's a little scared to get that thing banged. I mean, today he he came uh, into the rack and missed and went flying out of bounds like a like a cartoon, bro. Like he literally yeah. just slid Look. like it was an edit. But look, it, th- that's all I'm asking because I just feel like one, there's no like super, there's no specific identity for this team whatsoever, right? That's just me on offense too, and and that could just be they're not drawing up a good offense or whatever. There's a lot of factors that go into that, but I just feel like personally, there's no like identity, anything we hang our hat on for this team. And then two, my theory of in the off season, they said, okay, we got to beat the Nuggets. That's the team to beat. Let's build our team to beat this team, and. That's all you can do, and then you end up losing to a team like OKC, who's younger and faster and will run you out of the court. Same in the, in the Spurs, and then also with the uh, Celtic. You know, so that's just me. I don't know. That's just kind of where I'm at right now, where my head's at as far as thinking about this team and how the season has went. And hearing Vogel say that just like sparked back that thought that I had two days ago about, you know. Did we build this team to beat the Nuggets and the Nuggets only? And is that all we spent our energy on? And now we're paying for it. Just a theory and thoughts. Mrs. Sundo says she knows why the Suns lost. Miss Sundo, take it away. Uh, Mr. Nasty one said the offense should have taken precedence over the big three. Bobby Phillips says uh, y'all suck because you can't defend or rebound. So you have to shoot elite every night to win and that's not now that i agree with and then those shots that they take for the most part are always difficult Difficult. shots at least the majority of the big three shots are so difficult bobby feels i like that Mm, mrs sunda Sunda was was, late that's not even how that's almost always really how do you you explain how do you explain she cooked your ass yeah she can cook she definitely didn't cook today if you know what i'm saying oh how about that for misogynistic? What's your answer for that, Miss? Why didn't she? Why didn't you cook today? Because she had to babysit. That's the only reason why. And mm. they, and I think they were here a little bit later. That's it. Mm. I'm just being misogynistic. Well, next game is Monday. I guess you you say at least the Suns get two days of rest. I, I sure. Lord knows they need it. Do they have a back to back? Is it a Monday Tuesday? Ooh. Usually when they get. Uh, no, I think it's a Monday Wednesday. Okay, Monday Wednesday. I think okay, it's yeah, a yeah, Monday yeah, yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that Wednesday is at nine. Man, you might have to start that stream because I got a rec game. You got a rec game? How about? Yeah. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. It's first game of the season. Who we playing that game? Is that the is it the Cavs game? Uh, we'll see what Depends happens. Depends on discuss. when my game is. I don't know what what hour we play. If we play the early game or the late game, I almost missed this stream, dude. It's crazy that you were late because I was scheduled to work today. At, mm. Like accidentally, they 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 messed up my schedule because they opened it up. And so I didn't know that I needed to block it, and because I blocked everything months ago, and uh, one I of those things. Cha- so now yeah, you're... I got them to Ooh. change my schedule around. They were able to move things around. Um, Man, so that's crazy. Fear, but I was gonna have to tell you midday. Hey, uh, I think you can run the stream. I would have been like, hey, uh, and you would have been like, this we have a game bum. Today? Yeah, you would have oh, been like, like hey, it's good yo, Friday. It would have been a second I, no, half it's stream. Even that. It would have yeah, been a second I half that. I just didn't think we played today until yeah. <laughs> until I looked at my phone and said, uh-oh, we played today. 
unprepared Sundo, everyone. Look, man, sometimes you deserve to be unprepared. It's I'm going to be real. My whole. Because I'm not I didn't work today, like my whole schedules and I have I'm not going to work for the next four days to three days. My whole time clock and everything's going to be jacked up. Creature of yeah. habit. Really going to stink. Not really going to stink, but when I don't work, my whole schedule is just thrown off. Press conference has ended. Oh my gosh! So we won't get to hear from anybody least, else. But just got Frankie, thirty six ain't talking. <laughs> They're ducking out of. We have get any, us out of Oklahoma City. We have any tweets that are happening right now that are talking about interviews mm. or X's? How do you call them things now? X X post. I think they're just called posts. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Nothing crazy. All right. I feel bad for KD. They were um, booing him every time he touched the ball like that. Just still mad about that. It's like, bro. Okay, so you can be mad, but it's like, bro, Westbrook was making his life miserable. I mean, <laughs> oh man, you know, he, he didn't, he couldn't win with Westbrook, and the front office was siding with Westbrook, which is such a weird thing to think about. But he was Westbrook was that good for that time. He was. He, it's just you know, well, I would be talking about that too much because. Bro. Because Booker's very Westbrook like, mm-hmm. and Devin I wouldn't Westbrook. be Devin, Devin Westbrook, Westbrook, and I wouldn't be uh, mentioning that at all. You're the if that's the case, Booker that's not a good hater, sign for bro. the sun. I'm not a Booker hater. I swear to but God, but bro, be doing too much sometimes. You just hate him because he's so pretty. I yeah. yeah, I just hate him because he's light skinned and just so much better looking. Mm. I'm, I hate him because he dated a Jenner. You know, wish I could date a Jenner. At least you can admit it, I suppose. You know, sons lose. Sons lose. Sons lose. Sons lose. Sons lose. Bipolar as fuck. Oh my gosh, this team is so bipolar, man. It's just it, it drives me insane in the membrane. But at least I'm gonna go watch SmackDown. I saw somebody say something right. about Jay Cargill, so for that's a laugh. Great. For a laugh. Meachy Meach. Now let's take a look at my prize picks. Mm, okay. That's not what I'm saying, T. Shh. All right. So you guys know this. Stream was brought to you by Prize Picks. Only a couple days left for the month. We need everybody to sign up that we can. Use our code Valley. And let's see. I need to refresh. I know book. I know book screwed me over here. I don't think I got. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> never have I spent more time looking at things to see what was going to happen, bro. Like, I got one out of four right. It's just sad. Sad. All right? Before we, before we go also, mm-hmm. just take a look at this shirt, okay? Why don't y'all take a look at this shirt, man? He wants to show off his shirt, folks. It's a Suns baseball. Look at how clean this is, though. Shirt. All right. Well, but turn hold around on, and show us the back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at this. Ooh. Got the patch on the Ooh. side. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And then, and then here's my favorite part. You, you could steal some bases in that. Mmm. Looking like a real cholo. Cholo Sundo. Say, let's win a game or something, Holmes. It's time to, it's time to hit a three-pointer or something. Just saying, bro. 
I'm just saying, hey, it's time to hit the three pointer or something. He's so yeah. fast. He you makes know, everybody on the team look not fast. No, Romp. I don't think Burner was was ever awake for this. Man, Burner's not here. He'll probably have a late night fap session to it. All right, man. You gonna sing us away, or are we gonna get like some uh, Sundo Rucker style? Uh, Maybe. You know. Romp, by the way, outer range. Mm, so good. I found a real one, Romp. And season two is coming out in May, Romp. All right, sing us away, will you? I don't feel like singing away, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on. We just lost to the No Shea Thunder. The no shade sun, <laughs> the the no shade Jackson thunders. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> saying, mm, man. <sighs> sun's loose. <laughs> sun's loose. Sun's loose. Sun's loose. Like you need a joke.